Okay. Thank you for being a friend. Don't realize copyrighted. Don't do that. <laughs> when it's fresh, child, all of a sudden, no. Are you I saying his singing is that good? Nah. Are we going to be copyrighted? <laughs> We're going to flag. It's just nah. too good. It's like that Weezer cover album. It, everything just sounds like. God, yes? I heard that they were talking about that on the radio and they kept playing snippets from it. And I was like, oh my God, I want to buy this. Buy it. It's on YouTube. I, I'll Weezer's buy it. Account. I'll, I want to, dude. I want to buy it. You just, you just really like Toto's Africa yeah. that much. Well, no, like, because like all the albums are like you know blue, red. This one's teal. It's like sweet. yeah. So anyway, not all the albums. There's also Pinkerton. I, I, I don't know what they call that the pink album. It's not pink though. It's like got a graphic. And, and on then it. Ratitude is technically not color, I guess. All but, right. So so welcome. To, you're not the hi doggy show. Oh, what's that puppy's name? Zoe. That's her name. Oh, hi, Zoe. You're cute. Welcome to TNT Podcast, episode one, two, oh, three. Hi. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. Oh, yeah, and this is Nico. Oh, I got two guests on the show. Oh, yeah. My wife's cuddling with they're gonna Nico. Be, they're going to be uh, giving their opinions on the RTX. <laughs> this topic sucks. Let's talk about the, the important topics of whether or not you can eat pig's ears. Um, well, I mean, of course they can. So, hey, well, technically they're supposed to chew on it, but like not eat them. Hey, Ian. Yeah. What was the dog's yearbook quote? I don't know. What was it? Dogs don't go to school. That wasn't the quote. High school was rough. I love that joke. <laughs> it can apply to a lot of things, though. Just like dating. Right. In your 30s. Oh, that's impossible is what it is. <clears throat> so, hmm. let's go around table and talk about what everyone's been up to. Because I'm going to start off with Ben because... Uh, Solange might come and snatch him up before we even find out where where's Waldo and where he's been. What have you been up to, Ben? Uh, I'm surprised so we... they haven't made a movie about where's Waldo. He had a series for a minute. Do you remember that? Yeah, he had uh, an anime cartoon, but in the rest of the world, he's known as Wally. So it's where's Wally? It's like they could do where he's like on the run from the government. They have to find him like with satellites and track of him shit. You're thinking Carmen San Diego? Where in the world? Is Carbon San Diego. It's like you gotta but, find him on the live satellite feed. Right. Where is he? Oh uh, boy. Okay. Well, I've been working in in my office. I had to dig my car out because of the the fun snow we had, which is always a good time. Mm hmm So oh, boy, that's too dark. <laughs> what are you what are you doing there, Frank? I, I turned uh, my email to dark theme and it just looks like I cut the power off. <laughs> Hi, right, welcome to Frank's Dungeon. Uh, Uncle Tuck, uh, Uncle Touchy's Tickle Palace. You won't wear uh, a shirt and you'll cry. Uh, hey, I'll let's go for the captain's office. I'm going to get sexy with it. No, you don't. <laughs> All right, Ben, what, what have you been up to? Uh, working in my office. To, had Took some time digging my man. car out because the snow was up to the doors, which is always a good time. Oh, you mean you actually dug it out or you had pops or someone dig it out for you? Well, I dug the back out, and then I drove it over the, the snow drift that it was in. So, okay. Mom yeah. dug her car out. This one time, my dad, my brother, and I were at my brother's house. Is that the time you buried my car? Is that what you're talking about? Well, hold on, I gotta you start. My... Yes. His car was buried in the snow, so my dad goes, oh, we gotta dig his car out for him. So we're out there with shovels and brooms and shit, cleaning up. And I look over, and Ben's fucking gone. And I go in the house... And some bitch is laying on the couch watching television. I said, you get your ass out here and dig out your car. We're going to put more fucking snow on it and pour water on it so it freezes. <laughs> uh, that's not how it happened. You you guys were digging out my mom's car, and then you buried mine by shoveling all the snow onto mine. So, you know, thanks for that. Douchey McDoucherton. <sighs> anyway. So you've been working in the office, huh, Ben? 
when I could get my car out. Yeah, with with Dwight and Ryan. Yeah, I'm gonna hang that painting up on the wall, and uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, actually, uh, Steve Carell and somebody else from the office—they're working on a, a series for Netflix now, Space Force. Nice. Yeah. So, uh, boy. what's Ian been up to? Uh, well, he's eating a Valentine's cake. Mmm. Mmm. Is it like a zebra yeah. cake? Yeah, basically, yeah. I mean, they always like layers. just like colors on like the 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 fruity color is pink now, so it's romance and shit. And now oh now it's <laughs> orange, so that's Halloween, and then it's green, so that's fucking Christmas. And I think that's it, really, right? Do they got any other? I mean, with yellow for Easter, I guess. I don't. Sweetest Easter. day. That's and uh, what what are all like the different color like chemicals or whatever because i heard like what is it red five is supposed to be bad for you or something yellow, yellow number five, five. Supposed to, that's the one that like got notoriety because apparently mountain dew had it and supposedly it shrinks your wiener yeah that's what that's what Dude. middle school kids told everybody frank if we we told each other <laughs> that and like if your hand is bigger than your face you got aids so oh speaking of foods and drinks oh uh, boy I don't have the theme song, so you got to remind me to hum. So, hum the theme song. Not, I haven't got to me yet. Hold on. Talk, say tell us I don't give a fuck. Tell us what you've been up to, Ian. Drinking, eating a zebra cake, and drinking my well, As I was, I just told Frank today that I, I'm dog sitting and house sitting for my parents this week. I came here on Wednesday. And then I'm here until like tomorrow night, so it's not too bad. It's just bored out of my mind, man. I don't have a laptop. Eat all the food nothing. on their fridge. Go, going through all the pay per view channels. <laughs> got the got the refrigerator door wide open. <laughs> well, I remember you said you didn't have a a laptop. Did they not have yep. a at all there? Uh, they have some kind of like touch screen, all in one computer or whatever. But uh, like web TV on it. <laughs> Uh, oh, yeah, 50 hours of AOL. Great. Yeah. I mean, it has a, it has a touch screen. I, uh, I hosted a show on it before over here, and it was kind of a pain in the ass. And, like, the, the touch things are kind of wonky sometimes on the screen, you know? Mm. Imagine the life of a touch screen device. All they see is, uh, 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 uh. stop poking me. Uh, uh. Yeah. Right. But, I saw a video on on the internet recently of a little kid playing with a, a OG Game Boy, and they were tra- tapping the screen, and you're just like, "No, stop, stop!" Oh, I remember my uh, is either my ex girlfriend or somebody in high school. They like sh- oh, were showing it was right after high school because the touch screens had just come out because they gave them their phone and they're like tapping on the screen. They're like. No, it's not a touchscreen. Because remember for that brief moment where touchscreen still had buttons for people that didn't know to fucking touch the screen there to give you options. Because you know, yeah, I wouldn't, right. I wouldn't know anything about buttons to touch. Well, then again, this thing was revolutionary in that it had the one button. That was right. the thing. <clears throat> and then they took away the button, and people were mad. No, when the iPhone first, I came want out, the I button had... back. Put the Google I, back on my phone. I had the first iPhone, and people seriously, like I read forum posts where people were like, "No, we want an app." We want we want that T nine texting because we're so good with it. And I'm like, but it sucks. I, nine 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 T nine 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 I. And then you've got the headphone jack, which is gone. So you got the fun adapter. Yeah. Uh, well, I don't know if you both of you guys saw. I mean, I was telling Frank about it, but uh, they have this video about the. I think it's LG did a. A totally transparent TV now. Oh yeah, and they were Is saying that... with <clears throat> what? Go ahead. Is that the one that Linus did the video of? Or yeah. Okay. Did you guys see they're bringing the Razer back as a smartphone? I think so. Yeah. I mean, they Nokia brought the Nokia too. back, so why not? Because no one right. cares. People Windows cared Android. about the Nokia, dude. It, that phone you could like no drop cares. it from. It's an Android phone. It's not going to be as good. Yeah. No one said it was going to be. 
Nokia boy said, I'm buying it. It's a piece of shit. <laughs> but, sure. right. So, but no, the, the, the TV. with the TV, though, it was interesting that they had the camera guy go behind it and you could totally see through the TV on one side. And then, you know, the other side, it was wherever the black areas you could see through it. And when it was white, it was lit up. So, it, was that at CES where the most depressing thing there was the smart board? <laughs> I don't know. This was uh, this was just like an exclusive thing. I don't know if it was at CES, but they they would they let Linus and his uh, hmm. his whole team in there to you know review it and play games on it and stuff. But uh, he was saying with that kind of the same kind of technology, you could get away, you could do away with the notch then if you wanted because you could still hmm. have a display where the notch area is, but still have a camera underneath the screen right. because it's able to see through it. Right, they have like in-screen cameras now, but the trouble is they're expensive and they suck. Right, man. I just that's what I want. I want a giant screen that's just the entirety of the fucking thing, and I don't want like the like the notes and shit that they have where the edges were curved and look cool, but it fucking breaks. It's the first thing that happens. It falls and it breaks. <laughs> it the corner always gets that. Doesn't matter where they're like, no, put a bumper on it so it doesn't hit the corner. Yeah, you put a bumper on it so that corner that you paid extra for is fucking gone. You don't see it. So. <clears throat> do you, Ben? Do you got a, a phone with the mode, uh, a notch on it now? No, I've got the iPhone eight. I think is what I ended up with. Uh, that or, didn't have a notch in it yet. No, nope, not this one. The notch is for like I think the ten and. And like 10x, whatever that one is. I don't know. Mm-hmm. I mean, I, I don't care about getting the iPhone Plus and stuff. So it's like, you know, my main objective is to have a phone that'll fit in my pocket and not paying like, you know, ex- a whole grand. <laughs> yeah. You know. eh, I want a bigger phone, but, you know, mine's. Well, yeah. we all want bigger things, Frank. Right. Mine's good now. It it, it works. It still works. I still have the replace, one. replace phone with Dick. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I still have uh, the Pixel 1 and the Pixel 3s out now, so I guess I can't complain. It still works. So, uh, but uh, you been up to anything else, In uh, A little bit. I've been working on some more, doing some more modeling and stuff for those models that I'm going to print out for all my LED shit. Like, I was uh, reworking one of the, you know, like, I was going to do, like, a variation on one of the LED rings. Mm-hmm. I was going to make it for, uh, you know, for like a, a four pin and then the five pin for the RGBW. Mm. So I was going to do two different versions. And I just wanted to get these, you know, like done. And then I put a, the files on an SD card so I could free print them out because um, I'm going to, you know, like redo my computer soon. So I wanted to get my work done before I didn't. I uh, have to reinstall everything and then work on my computers and everything, you know. Uh, when I'm doing all this shit, I'm going to, I'm not going to have a computer. So I'm going to have to, uh, I was going to get another external hard drive. I was going to try to hook up to my new Xbox and try to get that to work. Hmm. Uh, at least they have some kind of movies or shows to watch because like I was, I told you I was, I have all my drives are internal. Mm. You can you can load up some of that Pluto TV they just got bought. You see that, Frank? Nope. Who they get bought, bought by? Uh, was it Viacom? I don't. I don't know. They they got they got bought for a couple of million something like that. Let me let me a take a look. All let me go look it up and I'll get back to you. Let me get drunk while I'm talking okay. to you. Yeah. Let me just let me just load some porn while I listen to this. Porn. The internet is for porn. Internet, uh, yeah, and porn is interchangeable. It's yeah, name. yeah. Viacom, uh, they've got them for three hundred and forty million. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, I, I figured, I figured you'd be all over Pluto TV since it's got you know MST3K and uh, 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 uh what was uh, what was Mike Nelson's other project after that? R- Rift tracks. Rift tracks. I was like, for one, for some reason, I want to say slip tracks. I was like, that's, well, that's not on, right. That's on uh, Twitch too, so you can watch that. Well, yeah, but this will be pulled down if it's official. <laughs> well, this is too. 
It's always on. Oh, always I on. I think just like the internet. On. Was that did that weird anybody else out when the no. when you moved to broadband and the internet is just always on because you're used to like dialing in with AOL yeah. and having your your messenger and your email and chat rooms all all in the same place and now it's just like no your computer's just on the internet now. So load up a browser third. <laughs> It was it was surprising, but you know, porn. So I was like, okay, cool. Um, yeah, yeah, pretty much. Whoa. Pop filter. Anyway, pop, pop so what, filter. What has the host been up to? Well, <laughs> the host with the most. Come on, babes. Mostly just work. Um, tinkering with my computer, getting everything going. My my new NAS is I for whatever reason I still can't get the I'm hack to sync like see the network and I open networks and there's nothing. I type in the IP address of the uh, server and it and it gives me my login name, but I type in every password I've used. It goes, oh no, that's wrong. I'm like, I set the fucking password. Why is it not where it is? Well, like, what what OS is the uh, Mac running? Because I mean, so some devices can't see certain networks. They're well, just yeah. that old. Like no, if I wanted it, to use that old XP laptop of mine. Well, it sees SMB. SMB works fine on it. Oh, Samba? Yeah, which is what Windows uses natively. So, like, I've connected to I've connected to my other, oh, like, my old, before I read I had, to, I had to use a separate Samba app, though, to, like, wake up the thing on the Mac to let it see the Samba drive. Because I tried to do that when I was trying to do that, uh, that TV thing. Oh, you remember, Frank. You're the one that introduced, mm-hmm. us, introduced us to it. Pseudo TV mm-hmm. live. Mm-hmm. No, I had to have a, used to have, to have a second part, like a second party app for Samba. And now it like is the fights built into it now. Cause it used to not work. So I've used it before. It's just not fucking working now. I don't know why. Cause it gave me my login name. Like, Hey, here's your login name. And that was correct. But when I put in the password, it goes, no. I go, well, was it this one? No. Well, there are times you have to reset your, you know, you, you put in the same password 15 times before it goes, okay, no. I, and I went, well, I like was looking, file sharing, even though I set everything to share, it goes, oh, no, you got to approve file sharing in your sharing settings. I'm like, oh, that's probably what I was missing. No, that still didn't fucking do it. So I I, I and it's a pain in the dick because the iMac is right there and the server is right there. And the only thing I need the iMac for really is to, like my old iPod. I can't sync uh, songs onto it from this computer. I'm not going to install iTunes on this fucking thing because I hate that software. And that thing. Other devices. There are other devices you can sync with other than just iTunes. You know. I yeah, I've tried using Foobar, but Foobar goes no iPod connected, even though it's fucking connected, and I've installed all the plugins. So I was like, well, I'll just use the iMac. Well, the iMac doesn't see the server, so that's been a project in itself. I'll dick around and get it. I'll get it. I'll get you this time. So get you next time. Get you. I've done multiple things, and then I also uh, like um for anybody who's been following my channel, you might have seen I uploaded a. 45 minute clip of me playing Fallout 76. I um, did see that the raw footage. The well, this is part two. Yep. The first one was two hours. This one was 45 minutes. And at 4K ultra settings, it made a 15.5 gigabyte file. And I went to upload it, and it's like, okay, don't shut your computer off. I'm like, oh, this is gonna take forever. So I put on the server and let it go till morning and then uploaded it. Because I want to shut this thing off and go to bed at some point. But, well, I let it go. I was like, okay, I'll just leave it running and do it in the morning when I go to work. And then I got up and I realized, oh, no, it went to sleep, even though I told it not to go to sleep. So it only uploaded like 20%. I'm like, never mind. Ugh. And then I forgot that I left part of a song playing at the beginning. So it's like not available in all countries. So I'm going to have to go in and edit it if anyone gives a shit. I was just making sure that it would record. So, and it did pretty well, actually. But that's pretty much all I've been doing. But, uh, uh okay. Also, so, are uh, you keeping your, uh, NAS on your, on all the time? Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. I mean, it's kind of the point. Air cooled. This thing, I mean, I'm sure it'd be okay, but I'm nervous to leave a water cooled PC on when I'm not home. Mm. So, I mean, I've fell, I've fallen asleep with the thing on before, which, you know, yeah, whatever. I'm in the same house. It's actually the fans in it. I've heard them ramping up for the next room, and it maybe get up and fucking run in here and find mm-hmm. out what the hell is going on. Is it? Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, I have one, two, three, four, five, six. I have six fans in it, and they're all 140 millimeters. So, I mean, it's. When I first turned it on, like the very first time, it freaked me out because it was so fucking loud. I'm like, oh shit, is it broke? <laughs> and then one of the um, halos was on too tight, so the fan blade was ding, 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 ding. I was like, shit. So I shut it off and loosened it up, and it works fine. I also was looking, I was like, okay, if I do the that bottom. RGB strip isn't syncing exactly because the adapter I got is wired funny. Even though it's made for Fantex, it's apparently only the mm. cases. They don't say that. So I could either just buy a 50-50 strip and attach it to the uh, adapter that came with the motherboard and be done. Or I could, uh, like I said, get three more fans for the radiator and three more halos, and then daisy chain them. Doesn't have to be today. It's just it's goals. Um, one cool thing I was looking at, I was looking at fans for 120s by Fractal. They've got one that's completely white, even the frame. So like that part that sticks over the... Because they'd be... Uh, the sticker would be showing. So you'd see the frame. You wouldn't see the actual blades. You'd just see the back of the blades. If the whole thing's white, right. then the RGB would be cast off of it, so it'd look a little better. So. That's my thought. But, uh... uh now nah, my... I'll probably just make my, uh... my 3D printed halos black because that's what the color of the Fantex ones are. hmm I mean, you could do any other color if you want, but all it does is draw attention to them. Yeah. Really, they just look like a, a frame because they're square. Well, I, I don't give up. When I oh, when I painted my uh, my fan blades and I took it apart, I only painted the fan blades and I kept the frame black just to give some contrast to it, you know. Because mm-hmm. I'm my build is kind of like a black and white build. Right. Well, I mean, like you know, so is mine. Just do the white helps accent the RGB. Yeah, so. I didn't. I didn't want to go like all way out, I guess. You know, that's like too much snow blind and all that. Yeah. Well, I mean, mine's mostly black, but then I was like, oh, if I'm putting white, you know, little white accents, then, you know, they look good in RGB. But you were going to just have everything murdered out, but murdered out. I mean, hey, you know, to an extent, it can look okay, but then if you're going to shine shit off of it, it makes it's like having another RGB accessory without having to actually have it RGB. So. But, but so what's everyone um, drinking? By the way, we were talking. We're talking about NASA though. Like, how's Ben? How's your uh, HP thing doing? A HP thing. Yeah, you're. You had, didn't you have like an HP like uh, NAS or enclosure? Or no, something? he's got Synology. Uh, I've got I've got an, a NAS back at the office. It, it was one of those uh, Western Digital ones. Oh, I thought it was a Synology. Nope, Western Digital. I'm a little a little grumpy with it because it, you know, it used to have the Plex server on it, but then they decided, oh, Plex, we're not going to support this one device. I mean, it's not the basic model. It is, you know, a little bit higher up, but the processor on it still is, you know, I don't know. Yeah, everyone's asking me, well, why'd you put Windows 10 on your server? And I'm like, why don't you just put Linux on? I'm like, because I want to be able to do other things without having to install a virtual machine and bullshit into it what's the matter frank you don't like to go with the command line you don't want to hack the system i'm hacking the internet no right your own kernels yeah well no like the the vnc software i have 
is cool because I don't have to know the IP address of the fucking machine. I can just launch it, and as long as I'm signed into it, oh, look, it works fucking fine. I don't got to search. Because, you know, dynamic IPs fluctuate every fucking time. Yeah, it's a pain uh, in the ass. And Well, you know, Linux I, is nice if you're running a headless server, but, you know, when you... Like, oh, you know, make it static. Well, if you make a static IP, that can give you, you know, bullshit, too, for no reason. Yeah, but, plus, you got to get... Don't you got to get, like, some kind of, like... uh. What do you call? It? You got to con- I thought you had to like contact your ISP and get like some information from them for your to do a static IP. Sometimes mo- I, modem. I, I've never gotten it to work correctly for me, so I've never actually cared. I'm like, fuck it. I'll just I can VN see it from my phone and go, what's the, what's the IP? Okay, then I'll just use that. <laughs> so, plus, if you know right. the range, you only got to change like so many digits out of it. So. uh What's you were saying though, Frank? What's everybody drinking on? Yeah, what's everyone drinking on? Start with the guest, Benjamin. I'm drinking some tart cherry mixed with kiwi strawberry. Mm. Well, like juice. What is that? Like juice or whatever? Or? Yeah, it's a mix because tart cherry itself is poof strong. You don't take the extract pills. That's what I take. Nah. Uh, why, why pick pills for something I can drink? <laughs> drink. Eh, it's a lot of sugar, you, I think. You ever try that G Fuel stuff? No. I don't like drinks that say fuel. They're usually just straight sugar or nasty. I like game fuel. Of course you do. I've got some in the fridge. So what's uh, Ian drinking? Well, I, I got some, some scissor. Uh, scissor up, yep. Yeah. That's the toilet wall. Um, got a uh, some ice. Ice, ice, baby. Uh, I got a Pepsi, and then this is my. If I'm, if I really need to, I I have a regular Mountain Dew. Old boy, basic what bitch. You feel like slumming it, huh? Yeah, basic bitch. Basically, basically. Fucking shoe nice. What are you drinking on? Well. Right now, I got a thing of a uh, Balls Cherry, and then I got some toilet water for when I finish that off, because I was going to get up early in the morning, and I figured I might as well not drink you know, my weight in caffeine. But, so you're not going to go Cherry Balls Deep? Well, it's still two bottles, so I mean, that's more than enough. Uh-oh. I really, I'll be feeling it, I don't. I don't need to, but the, the the thing's big enough to hold to, and I have two in the fridge, and they're good. <laughs> so, but anyway, would you like to anyway. do some uh, battle stations, sir? Yeah, some battle stations or video of the week is up to you. You're the host. <laughs> battle stations. Okay. It's Frank's show now. Right. Welcome to YouTube. Frank's one man show on, on Broadway. How's it going? He's gonna mute better watch out, he's gonna mute you like Doug. That's right. Cut his mic, cut his mic. <laughs> okay, what are we looking at here, Ian? The- are you asking me what my theme was? Yes, what are we looking at? Well, my theme was just like I was just kind of going for like a lot of screens and like just a lot of stuff going on in Man, the room, I guess. This is like, that's like a copy shop. What? Well, like I like the prints, but you got like Wonder Woman stuff in her bra, Batman brushing his teeth, Catwoman with a lollipop, uh, Superman eating a sandwich, Mario eating pizza for some reason. It's a me, Mario. And then somebody smoking. I can't tell who that's supposed to be. Floyd probably vaping. But yeah, there's a lot going on here. I don't know why people like these metal racks. I mean, I guess they're cheap. But my fear would be just even if it's only static, just getting shocked. Because, like I said, where I used to work, we had these uh, monitors, not not TV monitors, but like it was the hospital setting. So we had like 
you know, pulse ox monitors and shit that were just hooked up to surge projectors that were sitting on there. And if you grabbed the, you know, grabbed it by the plug to unplug it and you caught any of that lead, ah, son of a bitch. Grabbed it by the pussy plug. I see they got the RGB uh, mouse pad there. Ben's Yeti. Yep. Man, they just got a lot of shit here. This has got to be like more than one person. They're a proud. This is all my shit I'm ordering. He's like, huh? He's like, no, this is all my shit I'm hoarding. Oh. Am I? No, he didn't say that. I'm just saying. Joking. Oh. Am I echoing, guys? Can you hear me twice? No. That was weird. I no, thought I heard myself. No. No. So this is your first station. Your second station. Um. It's well, got, got a rid- horn. He got rid of a four three monitor. Hey, he's got Calvin and Hobbes as a wallpaper. Okay. Okay. Asses, he's, Dell. He's got that there vertical monitor, because sure. Well, before he had a four three monitor, so he put a vertical in there. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Okay, peanut. Hypercloud uh, headset. Eorus uh, GPU. Kraken, it looks like, with the Infinity uh, thing. Released our Kraken. Right. Cable manager leaves a little bit to be desired if they're, you know, going ape shit crazy. Plus, it's kind of dirty. Oh, I wouldn't complain about the cable management on this one. I mean, because there's so much going on. No, because I got another. I, I picked one that's not that great, but I had to for Frank. Oh, for the no. third one. Oh. Is it one of those with like cable spaghetti and everyone's like, no, oh, <laughs> you put that back right now. <laughs> I don't know if I'd call it spaghetti. It's oh something a whole different beast, man. Uh hold on. Did I fuck up? Yes. It's the same thing. Uh copy. Hold on, I well, relax. They'll do the shopping. Come on. Here we go. Oh, yeah, this guy. This guy's got to be like a broker. Day trader. Now look under his desk. I mean, hey, you know. <laughs> well, like what they... are those? Is that like ribbons or something? Ribbon cables? No, they're... um Surge protectors all with the cables tied up. No, they're like they're little powered boxes. I'm thinking they're adapters. Hmm. I think. Like, well, the okay, they're the transformers. You think we got a transformer? Cause see, the, okay, the you see at the, bo- the very bottom, they've got the power strip, right? Right. And then coming from the power strip, they got the cable, which is you know, zip tied together. And then it goes, looks like it goes just straight from the cable into the little transformer box. And then the transformer box is the little narrow cable up to the actual monitor, which I didn't know that's how that worked. I always thought, I always thought it was a bigger wire than that, but that's what it looks like. I don't know. Dude's like, man, them. I'm glad I made a best friends with a firefighter. <laughs> it's like, oh boy. Um, I mean, first you got a glass desk that just, you know, okay. Um, that's my all that shit's mounted on the wall though, right? The monitors. No, those are those are stands with feet. See, they're vivo. Oh boy. What? Zoom enhance, I guess. I forgot it's a dedicated slider on the bottom of my browser. Well, that doesn't help a bit. 
Maybe if I uh, click it and open a new tab. Here we go. Okay. See where it says Vivo? Hold on. More clear on this side. God damn it. God damn it. See on the right pedal still? Yeah. What's the office window say? On the office? Yeah, um, I don't know. E3 system. Hi, I'm a system admin. Right. So now, one thing though, I can't front on this guy because see, you know, it's cooler master case. Okay, it got looks like two gigabyte cards. And the keyboard and mouse are both ROG, which is impressive, actually. Mouse pad's a little meh. But man, yeah, those, those monitors are like there's four on each pole. <laughs> they make me nervous just looking at them. Um, man, I mean, okay, so they got all these graphs and charts, and then you got a web browser. It looks oh no, wait, a uh, SoundCloud up here on the left, and then what's that? Um, Spotify on the bottom left. Like I said, Sennheiser headphones, FX audio is their little amp, which is okay, whatever. I mean, it's decent. It's just, like I said, you got a glass desk with nicely colored walls and then just white-ass cables behind it. Yeah, it's, it, didn't you say this guy was like some kind of like stock guy? Hopefully his uh, stocks are the only thing that drops. Oh, I mean, it makes me nervous looking at it, especially the, te the technically those are sitting on the damn table. So <laughs> first top comment that desk stresses me out. And the guy says, me too, but I had to make do with what I had on hand. Maybe after I make a bit of money, I'll invest in a nicer desk. Someone's investing in some Velcro ties. Yeah, I know I was in a hurry. <laughs> Oh yeah! By the way, Frankie, did your uh, did your set of getting any more uh, likes or anything or comments? Um, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't yeah, like Frank anyone... post. Oh come on, man! I'm sure people like it. Would nah. like it. Nah, people don't give a fuck. I don't think they're getting to it. Like, what happened now? Oh, I posted my uh, setup. No one gives a shit. Yeah. Show Ben. Huh. I'm pulling it up because I, I actually don't have it bookmarked or anything. I gotta go to my messages because you know, Frank doesn't even care about his own setup. I don't. <laughs> Read it like you know. Do as I say, not as I do. Right. <laughs> no, they uh, really just like every time someone comments, they send you a message. Yeah, it only got fourteen upvotes. I don't give a fuck. Well, people we saw. Yeah, that's true. So, someone said, how does that not fall over? The guy says, monitor stands are holding four each. They're ready to handle up to 30 pounds each. Someone said, ah, fellow Eve player. I'm afraid I don't, I'm afraid I don't play Eve. <clears throat> so, oh boy. Well... <clears throat> I I would rate these in order of uh, appearance, so first one, second, and then third, because even there's more screens. Oh God, it's presentation, man. And I'm sorry that glass just makes me nervous. I'm still picking up pieces of that little decorative uh, glass. Like I had a glass orb with a fake plant in it, and that fucker broke. Months ago, and I'm still finding pieces of it. I can't imagine finding your entire desk piece by piece. Your foot hasn't found. No, no, I just run into them. I find them from time to time, just chilling. Mm. Yeah, it's Didn't like. You... Go ahead. I always worry about that. Like, if man, that would suck getting a piece of glass in your foot, man. It would also suck having this big ass TV fall and land on your foot. That's why I got a wood desk instead of you know IKEA cardboard. Okay. Yep. 
Benjamin, what is your what is your order here? Do you which ones do you like? Uh, I agreed with you, by the way. Oh well, I was going in the order you guys are on my screen: Benjamin, you, and then me. And I already said mine, so I'm gonna I'm gonna say, uh, I guess that co the copy shop one was first, and then uh, and the guy maybe scared. that one. I mean, the thing is with the day trader guy, like. What's his computer set up? Like, I can see he's got a whole bunch of monitors. There you go. That's what the, else? That's it. What? Well, until unless he's got us, you know, a, a whole bunch of computers built into the monitors. <laughs> like, he's saying, um, is that a real good monitor or uh, computer? It's uh, like, are there any good computers? Are there speakers? Are there anything other than I mean, there's, you know, there's nice headphones. That's about it. Uh. -huh. Does it doesn't really give uh, specs? Let's see, workstations trading. Yeah, it says workstation for trading stocks as an office. Monitors are LG twenty four inch. Mm, that's, mm. Eh. Eh. Mm. And they're using two GTX ten sixties. Two ten sixties are running that. Yeah, I mean huh. you could you could see that they were. You know, gigabyte cards, but I couldn't tell what model because it's so dark. He's dark. Well, I guess I guess that's basically like two four Ks, I guess, because they're probably all just ten eighties. Basically. All right. Would you like to see what I have going on this week, sir? Nope. By the way, our winner has <laughs> one thousand one point seven thousand upvotes, so I think he's doing I. Right. Yeah. He doesn't need our pity. <laughs> um, stay show. Okay. Now, before I get into what my actual theme is, I found a picture that I wanted to just share with Ian because I figured it would remind me of his desk, but hold on. In case you want to go a different route, but the full, fun desk I made. As you can see, I like lights. As you can see, mm. uh, yeah, put the lights around it. So it kind of is that like the infinity thing going on? Yeah, yeah. Which I'm That's like, pretty oh, cool. I'm like there you go, Ian. If you don't mind going blind every time you look down at your fucking desk, you, <laughs> <laughs> right? You, you're like, I mean, it's worth it to lose what's left of my sight. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> if it's for RGB, <clears throat> yeah, they got their uh, CPU cooler like. Vertical, which is kind of crazy. I've never seen one. I haven't seen one like that in a while. Mm. But you know, I wasn't reading this one. I just saw the desk, and I was like, "Gotta show it to Ian because it's RGBs. That's sweet." So, it's, and he's got a hundred, hundred and ninety-one upvotes. Damn bastard! Bastard. Well, that's, that's not the ones I give a shit about. My theme mm. this week, um. It's pretty much uh, RGB, because I like RGB, Ian likes RGB, and it grabs the eye. Even if like you go, man, that's cool, and then you start looking, you're like, well, it's only one actual picture. Actually, that computer's kind of low spec, but it looks so dope in this one shot. So basically, any computer. No. So basically, it's not a thing, because <laughs> that's like every computer now. Well, hold on. Well, what the shit? What do so you My theme is computer. Okay. I don't know why the thing refused to connect, but anyway. I should have gotten a mat. Shh. So, yeah, here is the first picture of his. This one actually has multiple pictures, too, by the way. Can you see this, Ian? Yep. Okay, Benjamin, can you see this? Um, nice desktop pad. I mean, it's a giant, giant mouse pad, but it's like NES controller. So that's pretty dope. It, it, it's an NES controller, but it's black. And then it also says, what's that say in the corner? Rosin, Casey, KBSING. I'm assuming that's the, I don't know. No, I wasn't I, talking to you, phone. Did we do, uh, uh, you showed it to me when we were chatting. I, I don't know. Did you uh, when we were on the air? Did you show that three D printed case? 
Uh, I thought we did. I wasn't sure if we were off air. I thought I thought we were off air. I'm not sure. Uh, I think I think I did it like how I did just now. I had a, a like a ringer. Oh yeah. This is a that Corsair case with a little RGB strip in the middle there. I kind of don't oh, care okay. for the way they did their headphones there because they kind of hung them over the little things on the shelf. Um, the elf on the shelf. I like the Teddy Rucks bit up there. It's not his touch. He's got Could be on their on. monitor. Yeah, I mean, and then they Maybe got a worse. little thing there for one pair. Now, I mean, I can't. T- plus, I can't tell what kind they got, so that's what bugs me the most. They got a switch, and they got their phone on a quick charger. Um, and like I said, the layout looks kind of dope. I gotta read the comments again. Someone was asking what kind of keyboard that was. And then their actual machine. They got RGB fans. They got the Corsair RGB RAM. Wow, wow, wow. Got a 2080. Wow, 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 wow. Yeah. Wow, 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 wow. Um, and then their little Teddy Rexman, he's got a little sleeping mask on. I mean, it's, it's pretty dope. I mean, really. Let's see. They got some high finements. Here we go. Here's a better picture of their fucking thing. Hold on. Let me zoom in hence and tell you what kind of headphones they got. That that, that sounds like fun to me. So some high finements. Some... I don't know what the hell those are. I can't tell. Uh, looks like he pad rolled them, too, because they got white pads on black. Let me scroll down, you damn. That Let my hard. people go, you damn dirty apes. I'm not a crook. Of course, that's the lowest the fucking picture. Blow this one up. Ooh, whoop. Yeah, some, that's some violent those words, are, Frank. Blow it up. I can't. I still can't tell what those are. But that's what he said. But basically, it's a pretty dope setup. Um, keyboard. Oh, it's an Anades. Oh, that's what kind of keyboard it is. I've seen uh, that. Uh, who's a what? These. Well, that's a not the right link. That's not the right link. Oh, that's an ad. Anides. That's the Anides made a um, computer case that uh, I saw them use on PC Part Picker before. But yeah, it's like chiclet looking keys with the R- RGB underneath there. I don't know. Mechanical keyboard. Okay. Backlit. Extra thin and light. Relay. F R A L Y. F R A L Y. Low profile blue switches. And these nuts. I mean, it's got like three and a half stars. Wow, it's got some three and a half golden stars, huh? Yeah. For 70 bucks. Uh, must have did, did their work on their homework. I mean, it looks pretty dope. So. And then... That was my, this is my first station, right? Yeah. I forgot because the image didn't open, so that's why I have another tab open. Okay. And then, this one called Purple Haze. Bone co Thomas would be proud. So he's got a picture of his dog on his desk, a Nixie clock. Xbox controller, RGB keyboard, RGB mouse pad. Argub. Yeah. So or if you're baller, Argub. Yeah. Bunch of Funko Pops up there on the shelves. Do you see them, Ben? Do you hear me? You said Funko. I assumed you were talking no, about I said the Funko Pop, Frank. I thought you were talking about the one in the in No, the I was talking about the huge collection they've got all over oh, everything. Yeah. 
because I'm observant. Hey, Frank, did you see they have a nope. RGBW CW strips now? What? What the hell? Yeah, is that? it's it's red, green, blue, uh, white, and cool white. So you could oh. uh, you have extra control over the temperature of the white. Yeah, because like the regular RGB, you can do white, but it's more of a blue. Yeah. And then number three, the guy says, running out of places to stick LEDs. Hmm. I'll tell you where you can stick your LEDs. <laughs> Benjamin. Yes? What the hell is it doing here? Oh, there it goes. I got I to gotta tweak something, because sometimes it's like, vroom, and then other times it's like, uh, uh. Benjamin, what's your middle name? Franklin. Franklin. Uh, Benjamin Franklin Thompson. Anyway, this guy, is, I, I thought was kind of dope, because... Why are you all on the dope tonight, Frank? I don't know. Yeah. It's not dope. All aboard the he's dope on, It train. sounds like he's on dope. Yeah, so... He's doping. I mean, he's got creative speakers, which are... Okay, but... <laughs> so... Corsair power supply, Fantex case. Looks like a Strix uh, GPU. I can't quite tell which one. Let me see if I can zoom enhance. I like the cooler. Yeah, Kraken. I would. Frank's like, you would. You would. No. The, uh, looks like it's a Strix uh, motherboard, too, now I look at it. Too bad the RAM's not RGB. Yeah, that's kind of a cop out, huh? Right. And then I think it's only a GTX uh, Strix, so this is probably a 1080, I'll bet you. I'll have to read the description. <clears throat> I mean, the fans could have been RGB. The damn RAM could have been RGB. It's like, dude, just so much more shit you could have stuck in there. Um, on thing that stuck out to me is that keyboard, right? I'd seen right. someone do one before where they took a keyboard and then they filed off the color on the black keycap so you could see through. It was clear, so you could see the RGB through it. So someone said, "Oh man, you know what? What the hell is that?" He said, "Well, I got uh, these." Um, it's a core master key, uh, keyboard, and he puts these uh, cheap caps from AliExpress's. I wouldn't recommend them, though. Cheap feeling, and some keys are missing, so I have two love controls, for example. <laughs> I Now I know why uh, Frank <clears throat> liked that one, though. Why? Because uh, of the color. Color theme he's got going on. We had a whole discussion, Ben, on one of our shows about the whole blue and like pink thing where it's like 80s colors you know you mean the by lighting yeah by curious lighting so <laughs> but yeah they're black they're front printed and then the tops are like white so the light is slightly diffused when it comes through mm. and what is that these are some aliexpress uh, keycaps they're uh Scroll all the way to the top. Come on. I'm sure you could find some better ones somewhere, but I mean, they look pretty dope because it's dope. I think I still say those Chrome keycaps are dope. At least, okay. at least the I like the they have the black Chrome ones, which are hard to find now, but it they're not as like gaudy looking i guess is like the gold or whatever because it's you know it's more of like a black but it's still sh like shiny yeah he's like he's asking about his uh he says rgb oh. mouse pad maybe he says i had the razor firefly but it felt limited and it's like they make it an rgb and it's the like extended one. Oh yeah i like that shot there what is that is that like his screen or something what oh that's oh that's a mouse pad yeah, that's that's just background. That's that's Razor. That's the Razor uh, website. 
because his his is just like a plain extended mouse pad. Oh no, that's I, interesting. My colors look so good on my phone, man. It's like I I'd like to get like a OLED screen. Yeah, that's OLED. what phones have. Yeah. OLED. They're going down now. You could get one for like a couple grand, I think. Yeah. Like yeah, maybe even under a grand, depending on the size, I guess. So I will go I think this is my top one. This is my second. Well, no, this is my second. And this is okay, my go third. Go through them again for me. And Ben okay, Collins. So we got this guy. This one. Yeah, that one. And we got that one. The Grimace one. And then we got that one. Mm. What do you guys think? How come it's getting less and less screens and less and less light as the as your selections go on? Yeah. Mm. I true mean... That. True that, true that. I mean, the first one had the most screens, but it was also up against a door and kind of cramped looking. Oh, it's, it's on a little tiny nice. table. And then... And the second one had less monitors and... But also let... Well... Had all the Funko Pops, but they both both have a lot of stuff precariously hanging around close to this computer. Well, now that's I would say, this, I think I changed my vote. This might be number one now because it does have a twenty eighty now. And which one is that one? That one's the first one. Yeah, and then this one I think is only a ten eighty. So, what are I we doing? Are we jerking off to these things, or what? What, what exactly is the priorities for? I'd have to say the order they're in presented, just like the first, just like mine. So you you like you like this one better than this one? Oh yeah. Hmm. I mean, he does have the RGB mouse pad, so I got to give him that. Like he's you said, he's got a twenty eighty. Well, the first guy does. Yeah. I think That's if the first guy could get out of the out of that corner and get more room like the other guys, I think he'd be he'd be doing fine. That'd be pretty dope. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> First guy has got how many up bows? Only 28. And the second guy has got 2.6 thousand. Third guy has got 661. So what guy won? Well, if you're talking straight up votes, this one. What did you say, Frank? Oh, I like this one best. Yeah. Ben said the and same that, thing, right? Did you say this? The grimace one second. I said the order they were posted in. So he agreed with yeah. me. Oh, uh, all right. So, well, actually, I like the last one better than this one. This was my third. Anyway, okay. Would you guys like to get into some news articles? If we have to, yeah, sure. we get. If we must. Okay, well, I don't have the sound effect for the typing, so uh, bear with me, guys. Yeah, do some typing sound effect. Bing. Bing. Okay. Check on my doggy. Oh, puppy. Okay. So. Oh. Happy. All right, so this first story from Ian's pile of stuff. Hello, I'm a dog. Everybody loves me because I'm a dog. Right? Atomic dog. It's okay, I'm not really a dog either. I'm just another little boy having a dream. People are mad that Google Chrome may kill ad blockers. Yeah, this is the one I was I was surprised that you didn't have in here. Well, that I don't care that people are mad. <laughs> why? Are, why he are was they... mad. Their brother was mad. Don't talk about that monster. He was about ready to kick your ass. Sorry, I got to adjust my cushion. My butt be hurting. But not, not just like I was kind of surprised that I noticed 
that was like last minute article that I put in there because I saw Linus did that on the WAN show. Uh, so basically, the, the Chrome is going to be getting rid of ad blockers. Nice selfie stick, Ian. <laughs> yeah, it was Jerry Ray. I, I was going to use uh, one that I, you know, like a nicer one that I made at from my place, but I forgot it and I didn't want to have to hold out my arm like this the whole time. So I saw if somebody it works. me a selfie stick, like an actual selfie stick. <laughs> And it fucking works. I was like, "What? Okay." <laughs> hey, you don't have to use them as like a selfie if you don't want to. You could turn them around. Turn around, selfie stick. So, did you read the article, sir? Uh, not really. I mean, no. <laughs> a lot of these, no, I didn't read them. A couple I did. We and we. Really, we just could discuss the title, you know. Oh, so so Chrome is getting rid of ad blockers. Oh, that's what the title suggests. Yes. <laughs> um, You're I know we might say. we might want want to read in depth a little bit about it because I'm not sh uh, really sure why they're doing that, but. Um, I guess they're. It, I mean, it's not like set in stone yet. It's said that they're. They might. They're. They've got like a proposal to do that. Mm -hmm. So, I'm adjusting my pop filter while I talk to you. So I'm kind of. You now, like, what the heck is going on? My well, my pop filter came loose, and I'm like trying to read, figure out why the hell it was. I was watching a YouTube video the other day. A guy had a lavalier mic, and he also had a necklace. So the entire show is just rattling around. I'm like, someone bouncing something on the desk? What the? Oh. Oh, yeah. By the way, before we before we get into the, the news, Frank, do the video of the week real quick. Video of the week? Yeah, our video. We got, we're doing a new segment. Then uh, just like something real quick where we uh, like to share something that we found interesting, like on YouTube or whatever. Me, it was last week where I talked about this video about this uh, that Linus guy did a video on how to dark mode like all your, you know, like your apps, your browsers, and your life your OS and everything. Yeah, black. Well, that's what it's called, dark mode your life. I'm letting crawling it in your skin. <laughs> uh, what? What's? It's crazy, man. I, I feel bad for that Lincoln Park guy, but it's like, well, yeah, you definitely. You you definitely tell even like 10, 15 years ago, like all the all that's a lot of that music was like dark and like whiny and stuff, you know. Now it makes sense, huh? Yeah, because it's like. The you just tell by the title of the song, like numb, crawling, and all that stuff, you know. Well, I mean, you got all kinds of artists like that. You know, cut my life into pieces. This is my plastic spork. Oh. <laughs> okay. I'm just I'm just going through Reddit, hitting the this random button on my bookmarks bar, and guess what I just landed on? What'd you just land on? Uh, Retro battle stations. Uh, <laughs> Hold on a second. Hold on. Almost got it. All right. Hopefully this sticks. Okay. Whoop. Shit. Ah, uh, fun right. times. <laughs> Pay no attention to the great and mighty powerful Oz behind the, the screen. <laughs> <laughs> right? Well, like the... The stupid clamp on my... Uh... Maybe mute your microphone until you get that sort out, Frankie. I, and I can... There's no mute. There's just off and on, Ben. Well, turn it off then, numb nuts. I mean, there's a way to do it. I'm afraid if I do, it won't be able to come back on. And if I'm hosting the show, that's kind of terrible. Here, I thought you had this awesome computer, and you can't turn out how, how to mute your microphone. Okay, Ben, you know how Hangouts is kind of janky as fuck? 
I, if I turn it off, there you go, sign. If I turn it off and then I turn it back on and the shit don't work, I'm not. I'll just leave. I'm not coming back. So why don't you just turn it off in the computer settings? Because. Because it might not come back on, motherfucker. Did I stutter? Oh, I'm going to tell mom you said something naughty. Go ahead. Tell her I said that shit. Fuck, I'm going to leave the pop filter on. My peas are going to pop. Anyway. So, where were mm -hmm. we? Go ahead. Where were we? We were about to just watch fish swim through the hole. Oh, episode. How's that sound? Sounds terrible. <laughs> but no, uh, I, I was going to ask if you wanted me to just sort of, while you're doing that, talk about my video, which is basically uh, Linus did a video on, uh, you know, like making like a really clean like desk setup with like uh, your laptop like in the desk or whatever. And then he's got like a some kind of like Thunderbolt hub or whatever hooked up. So like you could have all your um, mouse and keyboard and headphones and stuff going through it. Um, and then he's also has like a wireless charging thing underneath his desk. Um, mm -hmm. It's pretty cool. Uh, did you, <clears throat> did you watch it? Frank, yeah, I guess I then it. I watched it right before, uh, I actually uh, asked you if that was going to be your video because uh -huh. Ian said, I wish I had a laptop. And I'm like, oh, you is your video going to be about how Linus made a desk with a hidden? Because it's not just a, a, you know, you can, they made charging docks for laptops forever. He just uh, put an eGPU inside of the desk somewhere. Yeah. What do you think about those eGPUs? Because can Ben get one if he wanted? I mean, what, for his for laptop? Mac? Well, no, for, like, Macs and stuff. I thought you could even get those for. Yeah, I mean, it just, everything has to, like, it has to have, like, Thunderbolt shit, doesn't it? Right. I guess. <laughs> he said, I guess. I, well, I guess, I, I don't know too much about the eGPUs. Like, I'm not sure how I feel about them. I mean, I guess the performance is okay on them, but... Obviously, it's going to be a lot faster, you know, like the data, you know, like the data flow and stuff than like USB, right? Uh, oh. They even said with like having ri risers for like doing vertical cards, they didn't line us do a video on that. Like, how does it like go slower having like a really long riser cable? Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, it would make sense. Benjamin, what do you think about eGPUs? What? Since, since you were the topic of discussion. Uh, you mind translating that from nerd to human for me so I can know what you guys are talking nerd. about? Nerd. 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 No. What, what now? With the what? Because I know what I know what he was talking about with the with the dark screen mode, but what exactly are you talking about now? Uh, I think Franklin. Yeah. <laughs> uh, hello. Did my shit just freeze? You guys have been stuttering around. I've had trouble following you. Oh, so I can hear him now. Yeah. So, what exactly okay. are you guys An EP GPU is just basically like a graphics card, like an external graphics card. Yeah, mm -hmm. in a box that plugs into yeah. your computer instead of the dedicated, you know, instead of your integrated. Uh huh. To give it better graphics. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think I saw him do a video on that when he was like gaming on a laptop with, with an external thing. It's like, well, then you just basically got a whole other system. <laughs> Well, no, because it's still the same system. You just have a external graphics instead of plugging it into your laptop. Aren't they kind of expensive too, or something like that? Um, and I also they're about the same as a regular one. Also, realistically, if you're going for a laptop, you know, it's because you need it to be portable. Otherwise, oh, yeah. have a dedicated gaming machine. 
So. Well, you're, you know, the thing is, it's portable, but then you put your uh, eGPU where you would dock it, like, you know, like you have your little laptop for walking around out and tooling about, and then you can game at a d designated desk somewhere else. Yeah. A is lot like of these that, things are... Is that like that one gaming system that, w like, you'd log in and they'd have, you know, a game computer somewhere else and you'd just be playing that? Well, I mean, you, the hardware, like, you'll actually have the... It, your computer will see the graphics card as though it's its own. So, I mean, it's not... You're not, like, doing it over a network, like, you know, uh, on, on the cloud or whatever. Like, in this instance, he said you could even put a hard drive connected up so that it, it you know has all your games loaded on it and it's not you know recognized by your computer until you plug it in yeah i, I don't okay. know i mean at that point you're just basically getting the bottleneck of you know a laptop processor and the ram on it because i mean at that point you're just basically taking the insides of the computer and just spreading them out <laughs> well you take the 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 thing is you're supposed to take a high spec laptop with like a i7 and, you know, a lot of RAM and fast internal SSD drives, but it's lacking, a, you know, a GPU. Well, you buy a, a GPU in a box and plug it in. Yeah, it's basically like an external hard drive. I mean, you probably put it on top of your external hard drive. So, I mean, again, that just comes back to the question of, so you got to have a, a, a high, an expensive laptop, and then you got to try and beef it out more. It's like, at that point, just get a desktop. <laughs> Well, then you're what? spending a thousand dollars more versus you've already spent a thousand dollars on a laptop. You spent only five hundred on a GPU because you can't put a regular GPU in a laptop, but you could plug this thing in. Well, I mean, I think I understand what like he means, but I mean, a lot of these people don't buy it with their laptop. A lot of people, you know, it's just like a way if like you've had a laptop for like a few years or whatever to put some more life in it, you know. Uh huh. I mean, once you kind of agree, Frank, it's something that it's an upgrade, basically. Upgrade. I mean, if you already like were thinking about being able to game, you know, with the little shitty, you know, uh, crappy, you know, thing and play Fortnite, but you already have a nice little laptop, like the you know, a MacBook is nice enough to a point. So I can see being, you know, if you like dual boot and windows on it, uh, if you got a razor, like Linus had the a razor laptop and that's like, you know, you could have got one that was really made for gaming anyway. So it, I'm, I'm kind of torn on it. I mean, I, I'm always, I'm all about wanting to do better than you're doing, but like, well, wouldn't that go great with that Razer triple monitor thing? That laptop. Yeah. I mean, the whole point here is you can plug it into a you know a actual monitor and get you know instead of squinting at a little laptop screen. I mean, if laptops are your thing, knock yourself out, man. But I'm I'm you know I don't I can't I've had one and I can't see myself using it out and about. I barely a tablet I barely use. I want to actually sit down at a computer and go nuts yeah well it's like i was saying frank i sh should uh get a laptop so i could try to sneak it in the battle stations <laughs> yeah and then you well, that's a rule that's gotta be a full desktop station yep so some asshole may might uh report you and then get your flag <laughs> <laughs> right so. Yeah, because people people a lot of times hide their laptop under their desk, and then you know they got like three monitors going to the laptop. And I'm the guy that goes, "Hey, where's the tower? Oh, it's it's in there. I don't see the tower. Where's the tower? Oh, well, uh, you know, I, it's not uh, nothing you want to see. Well, it'll get taken down if you don't show a picture of it. Where's it at? <laughs> you, you really don't want to. No, I just report them because I don't want to. As soon as you start commenting, people downvote you unless it's obvious that the guy's a dickhead. Frank's like the the Paul Blart of Reddit, where he's like. He really wants to be like a Reddit moderator. If I could and actually get money for it, it'd be nice. But would you? Yeah, I get money for it. <clears throat> I mean, yeah. Because I mean, I'm on there all the time. You could pay but... to be a mod on there. 
I don't know. I mean, technically, you work for Reddit. I don't know. Oh, well, when shouldn't Reddit pay you? <laughs> That's what I meant. I didn't say you pay. Uh, you get paid. Get oh, I thought you were meaning like they were. you had to pay that. <sighs> no. Disrespect women gain currency. Disrequire, disregard females acquire currency. Okay, that's it. I always thought like moderators usually that was like volunteer work. It's usually people who are like in tight with it or they're in the community so much they're like, fuck it, you might as well just be a mod. Yeah. Van Hammer. Would you like to see my story of the week? Or video of the week? Sure. All right, hold on. Okay. You didn't do the same one? No. Okay, I was, I was kind of... I thought maybe that's why you brought it up, too. No, I You're just, like, damn it. I can I can read the fine print. So, Gamers Nexus... Hold on. Oh, they only did up to 1080? Okay, that's nice of them. So... He needs to turn that RTX on him, so... So... <clears throat> basically, I saw the basically. title... Basically... And like the whole Walmart PC thing was has been played out to death. But then they said, Well, I buy power versus Walmart. So right there I was like, Well, you know, it's a combo really of like Linus did that whole thing about IS, you know, how like system, you know, manufacturers will rip you off and then they don't know what they're doing and quality control sucks and then they don't do aftercare for a customer, et cetera, et cetera. And it was good that they did that because now companies have gone back and changed policies to make things better. Uh, Walmart's just starting and they already suck. But this video I, I thought was interesting because not only did they rehash, like I figured it was going to be oh, flogging a dead horse, rehashing the same crap, but they actually point out some reasons why, you know, there's stuff wrong that you wouldn't quite get if you, like, you, you order a computer. First off, everyone's said before that you might not get what you pay for. Like they ordered a, you know, 1080 and they got what was it? The uh the 70. Yeah, the the like their $2000 system actually only cost about $1000 cuz they sent them the wrong shit. Well, if you don't know what you're doing, you just go, "Oh man, cool, I got my new computer." And then second, they ran a similarly spec test bed um side by side with the custom <laughs> nice give me kisses oh they got an i buy power setup and then they've got a s similarly built uh system and if you notice if the actual numbers are quite low in comparison they shouldn't be that different well this is why i found this video interesting is because not only are the uh numbers different it's because like the RAM for one was the the BIOS it ships with is the first revision BIOS. It's not it has not been updated. People aren't gonna fucking update the BIOS, they're just gonna turn it on because they don't know what they're doing. Because someone else made a computer for them. So the BIOS isn't updated. As well as the RAM is not the XMP profile is not set up. So your thirty two hundred speed RAM is only running at twenty eight hundred. Yeah, yeah. He says you gotta, you gotta go in the settings to be able to change that, right? Yeah, you gotta go into the BIOS and change your XMP. It, I had to do it on mine. It doesn't take long at all. But I built my computer. I actually kind of, kind of know what I'm doing. Yeah, um, didn't you say it was like defaulted <clears throat> to twenty one thirty three or whatever? Something like that. It defaults to a lower speed. Even with, like the one review I read, the guy's like, oh, after updating the BIOS, it, you know, it went to the set, you know, the factory. Speed. Uh, speed i'm like no it doesn't you i mean well maybe with a different motherboard but mine i had to go in and tell it to xmp you know up to 3200 now also they said he says that the first revision of the bios actually down clocks the cpu so not only is the ram running slower the cpu is running slower and mm. that's because it's just at the you know <laughs> Excuse me. It's at the uh, lower specs. It's you know just take it out of the box, plug it in, and they, the the thing is, somebody tested it and didn't think, oh yeah, I better update the BIOS for them. They didn't give a shit. So, 
And I thought that was interesting because, you know, people, you know, if you buy a computer, go, man, look, I got this cool gaming computer. And they're just going to, you know, turn it on and try to play. That's all they're going to do. They're going to think it's like an Xbox. And they're not going to, like he said, most people who order this won't even know what the hell a BIOS is. And, you know, the only couple things that you would change, like the coolers, just whatever, it's basically an NZXT uh, chassis because they're in the same warehouse and they just, you know, move it from one warehouse to another. What, the Walmart PC? No, the iBuyPower. Oh, yeah. Yes. Spoiler alert, the iBuyPower won. I mean, yes, but just barely. Basically, (laughs) I mean... Well, I mean, he said it was, it won by a lot more than just a little bit because, I mean, like they, really the uh, Walmart was cutting all kinds of corners, you know, like the cables, the power supply, you know, like the, the glue and everything on the headers. I mean, well, like the, the, um, I buy power used to use glue, he said on the USB three headers. Yeah. It's just. You know, you're going to, it's. Oh, the weird thing too was the Walmart, they did like the 8700 where it's like not even a K version where you couldn't overclock it at all. It's like, I didn't even know you could get that. And then the RAM was one stick, so you don't even get dual channel. Yeah, that was another, (laughs) there was, there was a lot. I mean, granted the, I don't know if I would go with like an, like I would recommend an I buy power just for the fact of the real shitty customer service because right uh, from what I've heard people complain and you know like they they basically kind of like sc- screw them they won't help them out or anything you know if you're too lazy to build your own but you know how to fix it if they fuck something up sure but I mean. It's 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 decent. I mean, it, they're just pointing out the things that you might not think of to look for. And, you know, uh, I thought it was, in, you know, eye opening to me that, you know, oh, it's shipped with the uh, older BIOS and, you know, the RAM's not set right and the CPUs, you know, uh, slowed down. But that's, you know, even after someone turned it on and said, okay, it's good. So that, that well, was, that, you know. Yes, you shouldn't be surprised. A Walmart brand is like a Walmart brand. Yeah. But anyway, we're boring, Ben. Wake up. Huh? What? Bored. Still here. Bored. Bored. Sorry, I, like... I was watching porn while I was listening to you. Now, did you hear about the Walmart computer? Uh, all that crap going on with those? No, but I mean, you buy a computer from Walmart, be surprised. I mean... <laughs> When you buy a computer right. from a place that's an electronic store and, you know, you already have issues. It's like, what do you expect when you get something from <laughs> AMD Ed. converting parts of Epic to X570 chipset, dropping AS Media. AS Media. I was, I was just spelling out because I had no idea what the hell that was. Explain this to the layman, uh, Ian. Um, well, basically, I didn't basically. read the article. <laughs> oh. Uh, no, it's... I guess they're going to be using us, uh, you know, it's like they're going to repurpose some shit from the Epic processors, which is their workstation processors, I guess, right? Uh, Their server grade, yeah. Yeah, the server grade, that's what I meant. Computer is technically their workstation, because that's what the WX stands for. Yeah. Um, I, but... I saw, I watched the video... You know Steve's video, but uh, only briefly before we. I w- I was like I had to get some other articles in. Well, I have time to watch this whole fucking video. Right. So they're saying that they're taking parts from their server grade chips and using them in their consumer grade, which can't be anything but good. Oh right. Well, that's isn't that what basically AMD does? Is like you get. You get the whole shebang. It's just certain parts are locked down or they're a dummy part, you know? Well, see, okay. Then this ties into an article I have. Do you mind me piggybacking here, sir? No, that's fine. Okay, hold on. You still there, Benjamin? I guess. If this is living. 
Yeah, there's uh, what's going on with Solange because there's uh, no turning back once you get into this nerdness, I guess, of uh, nerd articles. It's up nerd, to you nerd, if you want to stick by. I'm here for the minute. <clears throat> I know you're here for the duration. Well, we did have a, I did put a couple uh, Apple stories in there. Apple. So, there's been a, a lawsuit against uh, AMD, and a judge has decided to allow this lawsuit to continue. It's way back from when they were doing the FX processors. Uh, oh, yeah, I did see that in your articles, yeah. But I, I don't know much about that, but explain it to us, please. Okay. The FX uh, series of CPUs... According to the lawsuit was filed in 2015, the shared cores utilized by the FX processor line's bulldozer modules shouldn't have been counted individually. Mm. Um, he said, we explored the bulldozer concept when we reviewed the FX8150 back in 2011. AMD had previously taken a bit of holier-than-thou approach to counting cores because it believed Intel's hyper-threading, which offers two logic processors for each physical core, was disingenuous but then amd developed the bulldozer module to share instruction fetch and decode stages of loading point units and the l2 cache uh, between two cores and change the tune well for those that don't know give us the lowdown frank was it was the uh was the fx processors were that were they basically all like threads so, like, if you get an A-core, a it was basically a four-core with eight threads. <clears throat> um, trying to find a way to summarize it here. Basically, there are shared uh, threads in the module, and it's not counted quite the same. So... But isn't that what the FX processors were competing with? Was basically four cores at the time, you know, like because I think they, like an eighty three fifty was compared to like a uh, like a twenty six hundred K or thirty three thousand something. Well, the whole thing of hyper threading is you you have two, four physical threads, but then you have double that with the hyper threading. Yeah. So, and he. Th Thought that that was like I like I said disingenuous. Like oh they're making that up, but then when they did bulldozer, they're like oh you know um, it's got eight cores kind of. <laughs> I mean the thing is this you know uh, lawsuit from like people are reporting this like it's brand new. They're like this you know our the the lawsuit was filed in 2015 and it's January 2019 and they're still trying to get. The fucking the chips that like this is before this is the chips that I bought this that before my Threadripper this was when you know before Ryzen came out. So, I think now they can stand to lose a couple bucks, but yeah, if Frank would have waited a little bit, you, you probably would have gotten like a, you know, like a Ryzen. But I wanted to play Fallout before all the leaks got on YouTube. I didn't want to see, you know, playthroughs. I wanted to play it. So, did you end up even playing? Yeah, I played. I played over two hundred hours of Fallout. Oh, I didn't. I don't know. I wasn't paying attention <clears throat> when you were, if you were talking about it. <laughs> so, uh, your counter to IC graphite thermal pads, thermal uh, grizzly carbonat. Yeah, this this was pretty interesting because, as you know, I was I had uh, uh, bought some. Uh, IC Graphite, they're thermal pads, which are uh -huh. basically, uh, basically, right? They're, uh, they're an alternative to using thermal paste. So, like, if you're a person that's new building computers, you know, you're kind of iffy, new and iffy about use messing with paste and, you know, go, being like that. What's that one video where the guy's like, and it goes all over the motherboard? Uh, <laughs> Yeah. It's basically like a, a like a carbon nanotube or whatever, uh graphite pad. Mm -hmm. Um and which is more 
it's more of like a rigid type of pad. Whether this guy. Hello. Hola. 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 That's what we Konnichiwa. Hey. Ramplamus. No. In the Russian we've done. From the tear. What's up, everybody? You know my girlfriend, the lovely Solange. Calling in from Hello. Canada land. Wow, Canada. Remember back when that would have been counted as long distance and you would have had to pay extra? <sighs> Still... 10, 10, 2, 20. I'd just like to point out that my Canadian girlfriend is here, and that's not a bit. <laughs> yeah, she's real. No, that's just a sweater on the chair. No, that's where <laughs> she's in the bathroom. Frank, I've told you to fuck off in person. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> that was the best night at Olive Garden in a while. That's a, that's a rowdy sweater you got there, Ben. What? Oh. <laughs> uh, for a second, I was like, I'm not wearing a sweater. Oh, you're, ta- you're talking about my girlfriend that tells you to fuck off. She tells... Oh. Uh, Ian's dog sitting, so you want to see his puppers before we leave? A second. Aww. 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 She's her cute. Yeah, her name is Zoe. She likes to give kisses. Aww. Aww. Like a lot. She's very neat. She's a very needy dog. Aww. That's okay. She's My cat was dog. very needy tonight. She, she, I was trying to take a nap, and she kept jumping on me to try and wake me up, and then I shut the door, and then she just started jumping at the door and meowing. And then, I, and then when I opened the door, she hopped on the bed and curled up by the pillow. I'm like, hey, wasn't it about me at all. It never is. Okay, so we got Zoe yeah. and, and who's okay, the other get... Nico. How's your dog doing, by the way, uh, Frank? Oh, he's okay. He's just chilling with my wife right now. When I do the show, it's their cuddle night. Aww. Aww. Yeah, this is Nico here. He's a German Shepherd. Oh, he's Aww. cute. Good old big boy. He's 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 a lot more lazy. Yeah. He's a lazy dog, and he's always trying to get all the attention. Uh, she's she's like a diva. Because she's a girl. <laughs> yeah. He's like I You're said, how I'm taking a nap. Oh, <laughs> oh, look at that face. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, what kind of dog did you have, Frank? Did you say? A giant schnauzer. Oh, and we got fish. Fishies. I was going to say, it looks like an old TV set. <laughs> One of those projection big screens. Oh, what? The fish tank? Yeah. Like when no, you start walking towards the it. backdrops. Remember those, Frank? Slange has. Fishies. She got them for a turtle, and then you didn't eat them. Yeah. <laughs> so you turned them into friends, so now they're really big. I think they're probably too big for him to eat now. I don't think that... Well, he obviously won't go after them, because they're huge. Which is funny, because you got a, another fish afterwards, and you ate that sucker right up. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I might have to just end up selling these ones or giving them away, because if they grow too big for the tank, they'll have to go. Mm-hmm. Uh, is it date night for you guys? It is. Date night, date night, date. date. <laughs> what uh, what are y'all doing for date night? I know what Whatever Ben's doing, but want. I know what I'm doing. You guys are gonna fuck, aren't you? <laughs> fuckers, uh, fuckers, maybe. fuckers. Maybe later. Maybe. Oh man. Okay. I My bra's gonna come off. Have a My bra's coming off. Really He's annoying me. That's all I know. Hey Ian, what time is it? Uh, ten two, ten two. Your own damn business. Well, I was just gonna say he's got that big ass really clock on the wall. I figured he'd. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh yeah. It's family time. <laughs> it's half past just... monkey's ass and a quarter to his balls. I'm sure frankly care, but this is a four... theirs is a four K. This is like nice. seventy something. Oh yeah, Which, yeah. They How many a... things do they have they can actually watch on it yet? <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, I don't even cable... know if they've even watched any 4K shit on there yet. Is cable even 4K yet? Or... 
Uh, no. I think <laughs> you do some Netflix shit on there. 4K. Ooh. Yeah, and bog down your entire network. <laughs> yep, be like Doug trying to do the show too. Right, right. Nice. Um, oh boy. Well, oh, you you two have a lovely evening. You too, too. Two, two. Enjoy your date. Uh, no, no, no. Toodles. <laughs> 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 Bye, guys. I love Adios. you. Bye, Zoe. Bye, guys. Bye, Zoe. The happy oh. waggy tail. Bye bye. Thanks for having me on, guys. See you. Right. See you Thanks next for time. coming on. Yeah, have come, a good one. Don't be a stranger. Uh, well, I'm sure I'll come on. You go. Who this? New phone. Who this? All right. Have a All good right. one, guys. Have a good weekend. All right. You, you too. Later. Later. Okay, right, Zoe. Tell us. About right. Yeah, it's always like that motherfucker. <laughs> tell us what our next <clears throat> so these news article is, Zoe. No, you didn't tell us. So there's a there's a crying out version of the graphite pads. Basically, is that what you're telling me? Yeah, this D A A hour, which is supposed to be devour, right? What are you okay. trying? To... Uh-huh. Isn't that what it is? D A hour. Durate. Duraters. D E R Durate. Hour. I don't know, but. We'll... So, but is that what is that basically the gist of the story? Right. Well, he's uh, they're making all his the own thermal grizzly. Yeah. Well, he, there's he does. I guess they do their own. Doesn't he do like uh, what is it the the metal thermal yeah, paste or whatever? Metal. Yeah, the liquid metal. And uh, now he came out with. Uh, it's more of like a fabric type of material, it looks like, but it's like a, a carbon nanotube graph, graphene type of hmm. material that you could cut into sections. And well, the, the, they had a sample where it was like, you know, basically it looked like a microfiber cloth, but the ones that hmm. you'll probably be getting when you buy them is going to be cut into the sections that are, you know, like for c- certain sizes, like right. 30 millimeter, 40 millimeter squared, where it's, you know, like for the bigger, like rising and shit. And he said it was uh, more competitive and more of an upgrade uh, compared to the IC graphite. So it's something I, I might look into. It's he's uh, expecting to start selling in like February, I think. <clears throat> so I'd have I'd have to get like two of them for my damn chip. <laughs> well, no, he's going to be making one specifically for the Red Ripper. So. Um, mm. Yeah, I uh, think in it'll the be... stream, when Linus uh, built three machines and they were Threadripper for two of them, he's like, "Oh, go ahead. Uh, I'm just gonna let him out. Keep talking." Oh, I was saying the when they built, they did a late night stream uh, where they built like three systems and two of them were Threadripper. Linus is like, "Oh, I have the thermal pads." And psh. yeah, yeah. right. <laughs> Oh, no, you said it's going to be an upgrade where, upgrade. you know, he said it's not really like, it's not as, you know, like thermally conductive as like his metal, uh, liquid metal, but, you know, it's basically pretty comparable to like, you know, like regular thermal paste and stuff. Hmm. So I, I'd like to try it out, you know. Um. Well, I'll have to give you guys, if I decide to get it all, I have to give you guys like a review of it, I guess, you know? Right. Because I have a, I have a 30 millimeter that I put in my FX build and I have a 40 millimeter, which I figured I'd put that in my Ryzen, but the the 30 millimeter is a little bit small, even for the FX processor. So I might put the 40 millimeter on the FX and then on my Ryzen, I might try the, this uh, thermal grizzly. So, hmm. but yeah, I, uh, I thought about doing the uh, conducting out or whatever. But like, one of them, they said that it, when you use it, like it can actually pit your um, heat spreader. So I don't know. Oh really? Yeah, I don't know what. Which one of these is? I'm looking at my hardware monitor because I was wanting to check my uh, temps and. Uh, 
it was saying about my like it shows my drives and I forgot one of them is only like SATA three instead of SATA six. Oh yeah. I think I think it's my um hmm. I think it's my uh drive I have my Linux on. Right. But in general, this is the Bauer guy, he's way beyond like Steve and stuff doing, you know, he does all that the delating and laughing and stuff and he's he's gone he's doing all of his own custom shit now, I guess, huh? Thermal he does his own thermal pace and stuff. I I wonder if he does he work with like some kind of chemistry labs or something or they do they, they, oh that's probably my external drive here. Cause that's that's a terabyte and a half. Hmm. Which is really weird, but I got this uh, external drive I have on here um, for like 20 bucks on eBay because the guy th thought it was broken. And I was like, I'll bet it's just the power adapter. Yeah, it was just the fucking power adapter. Yep. 300. 300 gigabyte. That's, or sorry, 3,000 gigabyte. That's still uh, 3 terabyte. Right. 1500 gigabyte. That's no, that's a terabyte and a half. Hmm. I don't fucking know. <laughs> Demonetized. By the way, for those of you that don't live in Ohio, this is the shit that we deal with here. Snow. Oh, you don't have a. They don't have a fence. No, they got an invisible fence. Oh, okay. My got the have one of those. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. No, it is it's cold as fuck out. My my parents went over they drove down to uh Minnesota to do ice fishing down there because there's a lot more ice and ice. Th it was like negative nineteen there. Yeah. I was like, I'm not doing that shit. Hmm. I think it's supposed to go down to like one degree or something. I think my RAM went back down to a slower speed. Hold on. What? Because it shows Say, memory modules. What? Size 8 gig. And then now it's clocked at 1600? That can't... Clock 1600 megahertz. That can't be right. One of my sticks apparently got loose, by the way. I, uh... What? Yeah, like I don't know how it happened. I don't. I think I I was took when I took the uh, one of the hard drives out and put it put you know the size back on. I look and like uh, somewhere it said that I was on, only had tw uh, twenty four gigs of RAM installed, and I was like, I have thirty two. And I look over, and literally one of the sticks is like not lighting up all the way. It's like dimmer than the others. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? And I take the side panel off, and I stick my hand in and go, and just click the fucking RAM into place. I'm like, okay. Uh, okay. So it came loose and popped out, but it was still in the board. It was just chilling. Uh, I got, I've read before, some people said that like the, because it's technically an overclock. When you change the XMP, it technically overclocks the RAM, even though that's the rated speed. Yeah, where you put and in like, your profile and the timings, <laughs> right? Yeah, it do, it sometimes doesn't stick. I don't know what the hell's going on. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to check it out tonight. Yay! That's I just don't know why. I I, I can do thirty two hundred memory module maximum clock. It says sixteen hundred. So that's that's something that I got to worry about. Well, I'm in quad channel, but huh? Sixteen hundred. Sixteen hundred megahertz. That's weird. Mm. Well, that's okay. Oh, well. I'll mess with it when I get off the show. Excuse me. The joys of owning a computer. It was like, yeah, you could just, you know, uh, buy an Xbox and just game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then you're gaming on an Xbox. Yeah, then you can vape. See, now it says... Play Xbox. Now, okay, module size, 1600 megahertz. That's, 
it shows us DR4 uh, 3200, but why is it not running at that speed? It's fucking weird. I'll uh, I'll have to look it up in the BIOS. Close this out while far stop playing right. Um, By the way, Frank, have you ever had these before? Uh, I've tried one of these, but they're donuts with Fruit Loops on it. Oh no! Where'd you get those giant eagle? Yep. We got a few giant eagles, but none close to me. Like I have, like where where I work, they have got them, but none like right there. Um, at a uh, Dunkin' Donuts, they had donuts with uh, pop rocks on them. Oh, I think I've seen those before. Yeah. Okay. So... I don't think I've tried them yet. Okay, let's go to your next story here, sir. So we're not rambling off topic all night because I told you I got to get up early. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you're not gonna get over early. Shut up. Adobe buys 3D textures and materials specialist. Uh, what? Allegro? Algorithmic? I don't know. Algorithmic. Alg okay. Or so, so they're saying they're gonna have more shit. Is that what it is? Yeah, it's basically they they're gonna be buying the suite of like substance painter and substance designer, which is basically like high quality industry standard. Uh texturing and material editor so, so upgrade yeah so like you could you could be some make some ball and texture packs and stuff if you wanted you know yeah i'm not using adobe though that's subscription based now fuck them okay <laughs> well they weren't they weren't before and now they are i guess so right don't you just love when companies <clears throat> buy shit and then either fuck with it make it all subscription or just like kill it off you know Google is starting to kill Google News in Europe if the EU goes ahead with its snippet tax. Oh, before you get into that, did you have any opinions on that Chrome thing with the going to be doing away with the ad blocker? Uh, no, I don't give a shit. Do you? Didn't you use ad blocker? No. <laughs> uh, as because I've had to reinstall my operating system so many damn times, I don't. It's a pl I've had it, and then it, I like realized that you got to actually go in and. Sh I thought you could like just shut it off on the fly. But the software I was using, you couldn't. And actually, you know, <laughs> aside from the annoying ads you get, like if I'm watching uh, on my TV, a ads I get are actually like I saw the trailers for a couple of movies I wouldn't have seen otherwise. Like I haven't seen TV commercials for them. Yeah. So well. I, I mean, I like seeing good stuff in ads. It's just, you know, like on YouTube, the ads, like, it's just crap, you know? Well, like, you know, on like a website you go to and you get a pop-up at the bottom with an unskippable thing and, yeah, horseshit. Yeah, that's the thing is, you know, if you really want to get our money, get, you know, put something that we're interested in, you know? Yeah, they're not going to do that. So what's the snippet tax, dog? Uh, well, I don't know too much about it. It has to do with all that Article 13 shit or whatever. You oh. know, the the news, the copyright with news linking and all that shit. I don't know too much about it. You can read, though. Nah. You can, well, not you specifically. You're not going to read that shit, but. <laughs> we encourage people to read, though, right? Right. Uh, not a link tax. It's a non-press snippet. Let summarize. I just looked up snippet tax instead of trying to find it in the article. I right. Figured, I figured it'd be an actual. Uh... Oh, the, oh, that's right. Whenever they reference something, or in simpler terms, Google should pay the press. Yep. Uh, use of protected content by online. So basically, if you're using online, if you're uh, using somebody's, which is considered, of, uh, was it fair use? If you report on it and you use somebody else's IP which should be fair practices they want you to pay I think that's how it works yeah oh, this protection does not extend to acts of hyperlinking so uh, well because I thought there was a whole thing where they they wanted to do because uh, the the article was like revised a lot of times I believe and they went back and forth on a bunch of shit and one of the things you know how when you like link a news article or some kind of feed or something where it'll put like a lot of the article inside of like the preview of the link. Mm -hmm. 
you know how like when you I send you a link on Hangouts, it'll show you a preview of the video. I think, uh, I think it's also trying to get like if a, a YouTube user posts something, then the Google will have to pay, which that's a great fucking yeah. idea. Then that, that's already hard to police. Yeah. For more information, go ahead and read this article. There's too much here to try to summarize. Look at this. Yeah, I, I saw this guy was saying uh, the first uh, advice for if you're going to be a new YouTuber is don't. Right. Because you got to have, <laughs> well, like even a guy that I follow who's had multiple, like he showed, he posted his, uh, in a chat thing, he showed me his algorithm and like, well, they're like, what happened in that month? He's like, oh, that's when the new rules actually hit me. And you got to have like so many thousand subscribers or nobody sees your shit. Yeah. I was, uh, I watched that one guy's, uh, you ever watch that game theorist channel? No. Have you heard of him? Nope. Uh, that's basically where he like it's kind of like Mythbusters for video games. Oh, yeah, where he does like he puts a lot of scientific and math calculations into like how how fast was Sonic actually running in the game? You know, <laughs> <laughs> and basically, you was he had a whole uh, video on like MCNs. I don't know if you know what those are. Yeah, that's the multi-channel group. networks, mm-hmm. and these basically. Uh, so basically, the MCN they belong to basically stole like it was technically they stole 1.7 million from all the you know the network the channels that were was within the network, mm-hmm. and you know like there it's like an ongoing legal thing and so yeah well, like, the, uh, if you don't have them though you're kind of screwed if people are if somebody tries to copyright strike you that's basically the main purpose right now of mcns is for your protection with copyright right like uh breakfast scene they had uh they were in an mcm and then like when they left basically they were approved for something uh i don't know if it was their adsense account or whatever but it was approved when they were in the mcm but when they left they weren't approved and they were on a wait list with no communication they were just sitting there without getting their money and that was like Matt, the guy who runs the channel, that was his job. And he was not making any money for months. So that's when he jumped to Twitch and started doing shit on there. And they're heavy on their uh, their um, Patreon because the- YouTube just said, yeah, fuck you, you're not getting your money. <laughs> and we'll okay. get back to you when we feel like it. That was before they decided to screw everybody over with the whole, you know, that, that's so even before thousand. then. Yeah, it's before the so many thousand followers. It's just like, oh no, you're you you if you like if you have a copyright thing or I don't know if it was their AdSense. Some it, he did a bunch of videos about it when it happened, and they basically said, yeah, we're just gonna fuck you. Over. FCA to yeah. test Jeep car sharing and other pilots. What the hell is this about? Um. Well. Uh, I guess it's about basically like. Wow. Uh, I don't give a huh? shit about gas. Look at this, this fucking thing. It's a, <laughs> it's a Hummer, Hummer yeah. truck with motorcycles in the back. Okay. Well, dirt bikes, whatever you want to call them. So. Yeah, I, I guess it's basically programs for like renting and borrowing cars and stuff like that. Oh, shit. I can't I, afford to do it. Okay. Um. I thought it was. I'm, I don't know all the details. Effort. Uh, my initial uh, thought uh, is it was going to be like, you know how, uh, you know, like those e-scooters or whatever. Don't oh. you like? Don't you use like a? Uh, isn't them like people leave them everywhere or whatever? Yeah, they're all over the fucking place. Yeah, Frank. They like I was telling Frank before they. You should have watched that South Park thing on it because it. It's basically what they had in the card in the show, right? They're like everywhere. It's like a nuisance, you know? Yes, my parking garage at work, literally the one day there was none, and the next day you couldn't get on the sidewalk. <clears throat> That's crazy. Um, but basic. But, I just threw the next article uh, up because I wasn't going to read it. <laughs> uh, Chrysler plans to launch a trio of pilot programs in Boston aimed at. Boosting sales of its Jeep 
cash cow and other brands, according to media reports. The programs which involve car sharing and subscription services are expected to roll out starting this month. Um, uh, Bloomberg reported earlier this month that Jeep is launching two small pilot programs in Boston, one in which owners can rent out their Jeeps through peer-to-peer car sharing, startup Turo, and uh, other a, th- a three-month subscription service in partnership with Avis uh, Budget Group in which owners can swap their Jeeps for other vehicles like a Ram 1500 pickup or a Dodge Challenger. There's also a third program in the works, according to Motor Authority. It's called Car Borrowing, and it's also a partnership with Avis. According to the report, it'll allow Jeep owners in Boston to start uh, next month to purchase six Jeep coins, each good for one day. Um, uh, rental of most Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, and Ram vehicles valid for a year. Participants will the borrowed vehicle or have them delivered. Hmm. I don't know. It, it doesn't sound like the the e scooter things, but I always thought that that would be interesting too. What can they do something like that for cars? But I'm sure people would still find a way to fuck it up. Know, like people would, yeah, they'd still find a way to fuck it up, or or you know, like they would hack them and try to find a way to hot wear them and shit. I, right. I don't know. People, people probably don't do that with the e-scooters because they're just, just they're not going to put that much effort into stealing a scooter, right? Uh, I mean, well, you'd be surprised. I so, guess, man, but I'm people, saying a car would be a lot more worth it. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, they probably have more ways to like keep you from fucking with a car than plus... Yeah, like, tracking. That and like we have it on you know record here that you borrowed the uh, I didn't do, yes you did right T-Mobile Sprint merger turns two d- disruptors into one mega company Dems warn yeah Dem, that's, Dem. that's 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 just what we need is uh two fucking companies that don't know what the fuck they're doing to just have a it. mega monster yeah it's it's gonna be them, AT and T, and fucking uh, Verizon. Who gives a shit about Boost? Nobody. Right. Right. Um. He's Sprint. I mean, similar merger was blocked in twenty. I mean, yeah, they're just waiting for it to get okay and. They always say they're against big businesses and all that, trying to break it up, but they don't, they don't want to. They actually just let them own, own the shit. Who gives a shit? You think, I bet you, them. I bet you the the one that's going to gobble up all of them is probably going to be the Verizon at the end. <laughs> I mean, they're yeah, they have the most money, I think. Right, My, Microsoft will help expand rural broadband across or, or access in Vermont. Yeah, in contrast, it's a little more of a, a happy story, I guess, you know? Uh-huh. Um, and it's basically, I didn't read the article, but it's basically what the title <laughs> says, I think. Microsoft is continuing to help people in rural areas gain broadband access through its Airband initiative. It's teaming up with Vermont to expand connectivity there while offering students access to digital skills and computer science programs. Well, that's good. Um, I mean, from what I was reading, basically... Like they're considering different ways to do, not not these guys, but they're actually everyone is considering different ways of how to actually do broadband because for year like years they've done you know wire buried in the ground and they spent money on the infrastructure and now they're realizing no we could just hang some you know uh, wireless access points or do like uh, SpaceX and launch some fucking satellites in. And everyone can have, you know, gigabit of broadband and you won't have to actually build shit in the ground. So, I mean, yeah, that's that's the goal. <laughs> I mean, yes, it sounds like, oh, we're going to roast our nuts with the, you know, that five gigahertz <laughs> is going to kill us and give us all brain tumors. But we thought the same thing with cell phone towers and now we don't even think about those. 
Yeah, we we have so much shit that's going through us that's five gigahertz isn't gonna be any different. No, I I, I if I could get you know ten gigabit internet, I'd be cool. I don't care. Go ahead, beat me up, Scott. Hey, hey, all the cool kids like Linus and Steve are doing it, right? Right. I mean, this is. I mean, it's ten gigabit. Good, you know, <clears throat> faster internet, three million people by twenty twenty two. No, for education program education programs is always good because then you know smarter people is always a good thing because then they can solve problems faster if you have more smart people and less dumb people run around and motherfuckers um hold on is this a doug article you got next yeah these are the doug articles and i thought ben was gonna stick around but nope you knew better than that shit <laughs> microsoft office now available in the mac app store yeah, and that's basically you just can read the title and surmise from that. Yeah, I mean, See, I'm sure Ben Ben might appreciate that or Doug. I don't know. I mean, they ha- already have that shit anyway, don't they? Mm-hmm. Like something similar. I mean, who gives a shit about Office really? Ben Ben and Doug. Doug, I can see writing shit, but he probably no fuck this shit. I use Open Office or LibreOffice or whatever the fuck it is. <laughs> LibreOffice oh, you... is owned by the same people who did Open Office, but Open Office I don't think is supported anymore or whatever. I don't know. What do you use? Do you just use like that the browser shit with uh, Google? Who me? Yeah. Oh, excuse me. I've I've used uh, whatever. Yeah, like you said, what Google has, and I've also used um, LibreOffice. Mm-hmm. Which I like the software. The thing is, though, it's got a nagging. Like, here's a fucking update. Hello. Uh. Uh-uh. Hello. Yeah, it's open. It blows up. What did you say? You cut off for a little bit. I said Apple might start making its own batteries for iPhones and Macs. Huh? They're gonna own that fuck up. <laughs> yeah. When they start yeah, blowing up. Right. Yeah, let's let's dip our toes into the battery thing. <laughs> right. Right. The most volatile will be beta testing that most volatile volatile part of your fucking phone that blows the fuck up. Let's go ahead and just make that our new thing we're gonna do. Yeah, people beta test that shit, right? I mean, it's Apple. People will line up to get the exclusive new shit, even if it blows up on launch launch day. <laughs> okay, let's see what we got here. Yeah, now we're going to get into the gaming show here. EA has reportedly canceled its story-driven Star Wars game. Where the hell's the X to... I can't even close out of that. Yeah. So they given the X to a single-player focus Star Wars game reports Kotaku. Oh, game which was once in development under the now shuttered EA studio of Visceral Games. It's been in the works for years, most recently under the leadership of Uncharted director Amy Henning. Or Hennig. In June, Hennig revealed she had left EA to form her own studio, leaving the project's fate up in the air. Well, that sucks, because that sounds like an awesome game. It's the fucking game we all want, man. <laughs> right? No, we'd rather just bring you a bunch of shit that we can charge out the anus for. I was gonna show you a meme if I can find it basically it was a EA best EA gaming accessory and it's a fucking credit card reader I'm money must have copy link okay 
Your money uh, I want. Hmm. Mm, yes. Fortnite's legal battles probably won't result in big payouts. <clears throat> and so basically, the, you know, like the, the dance moves people are mm -hmm. heard about, yeah, yeah. you know? Right. Uh, what was it? Uh, the emotes. Dude from, uh, dude from uh, Fresh Prince. Carlton. Carlton. Alfonso. And then, and then somebody else that didn't say he stole it, but then they did. I don't know. Right. And that's, you know, like, there's a couple of rappers or whatever. And this article is basically saying uh, that they're probably not going to get big payouts or any at all if since they didn't um, get any kind of, like, copyright protections on them. Right. Uh, what, where's the guy's name? Alfonso? Uh it was just here a second ago. Whatever his name is, uh, he didn't... Carlton, he didn't copyright it until after this whole thing came out. Yeah. So it's... I mean, it's kind of hard to copyright a dance unless you're like Michael Jackson with the moonwalk, I guess. Yeah, I mean, it sounds like some of the people are just like trying to say it's their thing because they're, you know, like they have some kind of like something similar in what it's you know, the mode is called, like, fresh or whatever, I think that the mm -hmm. uh, Alfonso right. guy was trying to say. Um, but, like, I mean, I've got, like, in my guitar software, there are um, amps that are supposed to sound like certain amps, but they can't go out and say, this sounds like a 1960s Marshall, whatever. So, like, they'll take, you know, what it sounds like and then give it a cutesy little name that lets you know, like, they have one that's supposed to sound like a, you know, the guitar player for uh, Randy Rhodes who played for uh, Ozzy Osbourne. Uh, well, they don't want to say R Randy Rhodes uh, guitar amp. They'll call it uh, Crazy Randy because his crazy train was him and his name was Randy. So, you know, just a little cutesy that hints at what the fuck it actually is. Right. Without getting in trouble. But, I mean, that, that just goes to show you, you got to be pretty desperate at their... You know, you're like you're trying to go after something that was like back from the nineties, you know. Right. Oh, okay. You did have this article in yours. I didn't see your I didn't add this story uh until after you sent your email and I didn't get a chance to read it because like I said, my wife came home late. So I figured you'd have it either already or you'd get it last minute. Twitter reacts to two hundred and seventy six dollar Fallout seventy six jacket with a bunch of bag jokes. So yeah, um, can I can I summarize this because I, I I'm yeah. I'm deeply versed in I'm get... sadness and okay. So basically, so we is all this remember... like more? Is this similar to the canvas thing? Well, okay. Um, the thing is, like Bethesda has a thing has a tendency lately anymore of launching products based on Fallout's IP that. Don't live up to the advertised specs, I guess I can say. And um, in doing so, they've created a name for themselves. And, and when they post something new that they've got, uh, the trolls come out in force. Um, so, like, what was that last yes. month or whatever, when they had the they had a canvas bag, and then when they you know actually arrived, it was cheap plastic or whatever the fuck it was. So now. They announced this leather jacket, which is made to look like a vault suit. And a lot of people are like, oh, yeah, I thought of this. The first one I saw was like, I thought of this blue fucking tarp. And then people are like, oh, no, here it is. And it's a blue grocery bag. And, you know, a rain poncho. <clears throat> so it's like they have no faith. Yeah, Ikea bag. They they have no faith that the original thing will actually show up looking like the ad. Before they made a hoodie. By the way, the guy says, right. don't mind today, and it's the fucking hoodie. <laughs> so. Well, you know, it's just going to get worse and worse because now people are hyper-focused on it, and they're going to get more and more sensitive about it, you know? Well, I mean, already you can't go to any tweet, like, Fallout and Bethesda have their official Twitter pages, and they will tweet when there's, you know, hey, there's an update to the game, and the game's been out for months. Uh, if you don't fucking like it, don't play it. Uh, don't buy it. Um, and every time they're like, hey, here are the updates, 
hundred percent, not ninety nine point nine, hundred percent. There's going to be almost the first comment. Yeah, too bad the game sucks and no one plays it. And everybody's got to follow up. Well, we're reading this because we play it, dude. No, no one can have fun playing that game. Um. So. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I agree. If you don't like it, you shouldn't play it. The only time I don't agree with that argument is if, you know, like if you're been a fan of something and then it's changed to something that you didn't, well, you know, it, like you're not used to. I mean, it did change, but the thing is, they said going in, this is a multiplayer Fallout 4 version. Um, they didn't, I don't think they sold it for anything more than like, yes, there are glitches, big deal. They're, it's the same engine that they used for fucking multiple games ago, just modified. And the thing is, it's to me, it's running mostly fine. I mean, so people are just being nitpicky and I mean, they're going to keep updating it as long as the game exists. So I don't, I don't know. people are just big crybabies. but in this instance, yeah, I can see it's funny, but you know, they just announced the fucking thing. I mean, let 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 someone get one that's crappy before you say they're all shit. I mean, I understand the right. r- the rum came in a plastic bottle. I get that, <sighs> but I mean, uh, um, I had a I did have a seventy six story though. I want to throw in here. Okay, go ahead. While we're on the subject, I keep seeing these stupid like in YouTube. It's like suggested. Hey, here's a story you might be interested in on YouTube. And people are like, oh, just pretty soon, Fallout 76 is going to go free to play. Um, it's not going free to play, in case you were wondering. Oh, okay. I remember it was silly, but Bethesda made it officially anyway. No. <laughs> so, like, Bethesda, if Fallout 76 goes free to play, I want my money back straight up. And the guy says, there's no truth in this rumor. So, yeah, no, they, yes, they made, yes, it went on sale right after it came out because they want to sell more copies, you dumb shits. I mean, people are like, I'd be mad if I paid $60 for a game and then it came out for 40 I didn't pay $60, I paid 80 So, I mean, but yeah, it's all over fucking bullshit. People, oh, it's going to be free to play soon. I'm, I'm not even going to bother looking on YouTube for, you know, thumbnails where people say it. They're just speculating some made up bullshit. But this is going to make money as long as it, it's just like their, uh, you know, uh, Skyrim. As long as they can make money selling it, they're going to fucking sell it. No money. Right. So, um, go to your next article here. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying. I was reading. I'm trying to sort of understand this article, but I, I guess I'll just have to read it a little bit. Assassin's uh, Creed Odyssey DLC is being changed to better reflect player choices. Legacy of the first uh, laid force players into a heterosexual romance, even if they're previously selected a same-sex relationship. Okay, so, basically, um, it's uh, not really, it's kind of, you know, Assassin's Creed is kind of open world, kind of. Um, in the storyline, yeah. though, you you know how you can romance characters. You can romance a same-sex character, but then in the DLC, now, you know how DLC is kind of like a linear path at, at certain points? Yeah. They want they force you into a, a hetero uh, romance with a character. Um, I'm, I mean, like they said, to better... What was it they said? Um, what the hell was the... Uh, Oh, to better reflect the player choices. So, I mean, all games that give you choices have to pick at some point what is canon and what is not. Because in Wolfenstein, like I said, you can kill somebody and then, or you can, like they say, I'm going to kill you. Well, you're not killing them. Like the, the bad guy says, if you don't make a choice, this guy will die, this guy will die, or you'll die. And if you don't choose one or the other... That they just pick somebody at random. Well, you know, and then in the follow up game, you've got they have to say, well, okay, you picked this guy. Or actually, with Wolfenstein, they give you the option to 
pick one or the other and say you did which one I think. Because it, it's happened in multiple versions of the games. In this, I don't know if they just said, well, you could have r- romanced you know, the same sex, but we're going to just say it was the uh, hetero. And I think that has bothered people, I think. But I'm not 100% right. sure. I'm not... I'm not too up on the lore. Um, Me neither. I so, mean, I, I was a fan of the some of the earlier Assassin's Creed games, but I have I think I have one or two of them, but I've never played any of it. Yeah. Like I said, my old computer is kind of a potato. So, but I mean, you know, I, I, I my understanding of it was they did it to you know maintain consistency, but. You can only give free choice up to a certain point. Um, I mean, if, if if they made it so you could choose where what route you had went to the previous game in the following game, that'd be even more complex. And I think you could give them like, oh man, kudos. But I think if you if they couldn't, well, you shouldn't really hold them accountable. Maybe this is just letting us know what happened. And then yeah. I, I don't know. I didn't read the full article. Like I said, I'm not fully versed in it. I just Kind of got a general sum of it somewhere. Um, late dates say Steam Lunar uh, New Year sale will run for February fourth to eleventh. Yeah. Now, did did you have that in there? No. In your articles? Okay. Um, no, I'm not so sure if you know too much about hands. that. <laughs> yeah, you kind of a uh, wall. It's is kind of hurting now. Huh? It's oh oh. Have you seen the Steam meme? What? Hold on, I got uh, it's one of the first ones when you Google it here. Hold on, give me a second. Dress on, pull this up. It's sale time. No, Steam, no. Steam with a belt, take the belt to your wallet. <laughs> that's 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 true. Um, Lord Gaben knows how to make us just turn over all that money. I've, yeah, dude, I bought so many games. I don't. I don't even need. I don't. There was a. Go ahead. I can has. Um. No, I, I thought Steam sales were supposed to be a good thing. I mean, they are, because, like, shit's like, you know, there's no, you know, reason for the to be this, you know, no reason for the, uh, you know, like, you, what was it? Okay. I'm going to show you the actual, I found a comic that sums it up. It's not, not, not a meme, it's a comic. If I can find my pointer. Where's my pointer? What's the point? Okay. I says, oh, another Steam sale, huh? He's like, I practically uh, purchased the entire Steam catalog. There can't be much more money I can spend. And the very next panel, he's homeless in a box. <laughs> how it is, dude. I, I have... Well, how many do I have? I have 645 games in my library. You need to get that up to 666, then. Well, see, my wish list is over a 1,000, so... Eventually, basically. Would you ever play that? Because I, I haven't played it yet since I got it for Christmas, but uh, I've just what? been busy. Uh, is that Would you ever play that Red Dead Redemption too? I mean, yeah, but it's not on PC yet. No, I'm not going to play anything like be. that on Xbox. What well, did they... Did they do it for PC for the first game? I don't think they did. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, update. A leaked image or an image leaked to PC Gamer from the Steam Partner site shows more details on the upcoming Steam Lunar sale, including the dates and sale requirements, most of which will only matter to developers putting their games up at discount. Um I enjoy the Steam sales even when I'm not buying things because every day you can do a little function to get a free um, trading card 
And then after you amass training cards, you can craft a badge that will show up on your profile or you can just have in your inventory. And after you get so many badges, you can level up your uh, badge to be different. And like Steam is like a game within itself. You get XP and all this bullshit. It's it's. Yeah, you're it's, like, well, they do have achievements. Yeah, they have achievements. Or badges or whatever. Bad, well, they have both. They have XP, achievements, badges. You can level up your profile. I mean, it's so stupid. But you know what? I, I like my favorite thing to do is go through my queue because they give you a queue of, hey, here's some games you might be interested in. And if you go, click through all, uh, I think it's 11 of them, it goes, oh, hey, you know, here's a trading card for going through all these. And you can go through it two more times today. And I will try to go through every day because that's the easiest way to get. But then they've got some little other function that you can do. And it's cool. They like you can interact. And, like they got one where it's you go through your like you get an achievement for playing a, an old game in your library that you haven't played yet. And so that got me, you know, when I was I had no money to spend, but it's like, OK, play your play this game you haven't played in two years. Oh, OK. OK. I mean, there's there's websites based on like when is the next? I think it's when is the next Steam sale? I think it's when is the next Steam sale? I think that's the website I'm going. Yeah, next summer sale, June twenty third, twenty nineteen. That's inaccurate. Then if the web, if the February sale is true. But, yeah, I wish it was June so bad just for the weather. Right. Talk about the weather. So was that your last article, sir? Yep. What time is it? It's uh, 12.23, so uh, whatever you want to do. I'm just going to power through uh, some of my articles, sir, if that's okay with you. Okay. Um, I've got like four articles on this same story, so I'm just going to link one of them. Um, in tech news, the there's a new product from Western Digital. They've got an M.2 with this heat sink, right? That's made to tempt gamers. Oh boy! Because it's all you know, edgy and black and shit. Extreme. W. Uh, D boasted it will help gamers snag a tangible next level competitive boost during intense PC gameplay. That's uh, next level shit. Allowing us to see to run for longer periods, sustain read write performance comparable with non heat sink versions. So, uh, what about the prices? The 250 gig version costs 79.99, and the two terabyte version is 499. The non heat sink version, so uh, with up to one terabyte capacity, are available now. We have to wait until spring for the two terabyte capacity with heat sink option. I mean, I don't. I would just buy fucking cheap version and slap an RGB heatsink on it. Yeah, but I have one, two, three. I have three articles on the same damn thing, so that's crazy. And they're trying to get on get, get them gamers, dog, because that's who's built the PCs, the workstations, and the gamers. That's it. Also, yep. since we're on hardware at the moment, you know, I love me some fractal. Well, I, my case, I told you, is the Define S2. Fractal Design, Josh. Well, there's Fractal Design has made a Meshify S2. Meshify C? No, well, no. See, that, that the C was the, the body style. If you like the Define S2, but when it fucking Meshified, it's basic, that's basically it. Because I saw, on the day they launched it, I saw a video... And yeah, it's exactly like I thought it was. It's my case, but if it was Meshify. So, yeah, I remember that the one ad uh, that Jay from Jay's Two Cents uh, did. Like he he would do a, like a pre ad to his videos where he's like he squeezes the two different kinds of fractal design cases together, and it's like whatever the guy wanted. You know, like it was a case where it had like a bunch of hard drive uh, support and like. It's good for liquid cooling or whatever. Right. Uh, Bitwit did one where it, he left uh, cases alone in a room and they fucked it, made a baby <laughs> case. Baby. Aww. 
So I'm not going to go through any of the video here, but uh, ratings.com, RT, I enjoy, did uh, testing NVIDIA G-Sync compatibility with 25 FreeSync monitors. Because remember, they said it was only compatible with 25 of them that were, you know, compatible. Oh, yeah. This guy tested 25 of them, apparently. So he did all of them. <laughs> I I guess I just saw the headline and said I've got to share that because people will want to know how it worked and I uh, you know I I'm not gonna watch it because I don't care <laughs> but I felt like sharing. Um, you were curious though. I mean, just a little bit, but not enough to watch a video with twenty five. Nah, it's it's too many options basically. Also. You know, the whole dark mode thing. Dark mode your life, baby. A web browser extension lets you change the color theme of websites uh, from bright and or white to dark mode. The extension is called Dark Reader, and it's available for free on Chrome, Firefox, and Safari. So this is just to give you another fucking option. Now, this apparently I was reading it because this also... See, you, they actually give you the little side-by-side -side comparison here. What does uh, it look yeah. like? And then um also where the hell is it? It's not just the like you can even make the entire browser because see the edges of the browser are black instead of white. Yeah. The only thing is it's like I like the background like a dark gray, but not like totally a black, then it looks just like you're in like command prompt or something, you know, it's kind of boring. Right. I mean, it's customizable. Look, you can uh, adjust the contrast and the sepia and the grayscale and shit right there. Um, yeah. Now, it, I guess they said it also works with some themes if you want to layer it up. Um, I just thought it's cool to give the people who like, because yes, you can get in and do like you and tweak the entire UI and make it look different and all that. Or if you're lazy and just want to click a button, <laughs> or if all you really do is the only thing, like you don't want extra because you know I like the dark themes obviously, but with uh with uh stylus you can actually you know change to different kinds of themes not just dark. This is designed just to be dark, so dark, it's dark customizable yet it's also simple in what it does. So get that bottom one out of there. But, you know, in case you want that Safari, I don't know if there's anything available for Safari now that I think about it. Um, but also, by the way, I, I missed this. The, I showed you the guy uh, doing the free sync uh, in, uh, NVIDIA card monitor, whatever. Um, also, similar, free sync versus G sync compatibility, unexpected, un unexpected input lag results. It's another video, but I linked the Reddit article because there are comments and discussions and if if watching a video isn't enough you can also read so ah, who has time for that I ain't gonna read But no, I wonder since in Intel is going to be doing like their own GPU, like in a couple of years, that what they're gonna if they're going to be doing their own kind stuff. of sync technology or whatever. I froze, didn't I? Yeah. Did was I chopping out? No, I w I didn't. There was nothing. I was thought I was totally going to disconnect. Yeah. I got. I think I got to up my fucking RAM speed. That might be it. One thing. <laughs> hmm. But uh, anyway, but no, I was just saying, like, I wonder since Intel is do doing their own GPU in a couple of years, if they're going to have their own sync technology or whatever, then we have to do with that. Right. Another. No, they'll just say, oh, it works with FreeSync because FreeSync's free. Yeah. Not what what I'd like to see is like it, like we said, competition is a good thing. I think it'd be awesome if all three team red, green and blue. All did GPU and CPU, you know. Right. The check this out. Since we were talking about dark themes and shit, the Google Assistant app is rolling out dark mode cards, which you, that's their little, like if you find an article, that's what they call it a card. 
and they look pretty terrible. <laughs> so yeah, see, you, here's a little icon for the Google Assistant, and you say, you know, get more done with your assistant. Here's your calendar today. Yeah, dark mode mm. is all the rage on Android right now, with many of its own apps and processes, uh, shader themes, not just Google apps. Soon, Android itself will support a darker palette at the OS level, something many in the community feel is years overdue. Now, Yes, yes, it is. Now it seems the assistant UI is getting in on the action, and the team's first stab has, to put it plainly, not gone well. Just look at these screenshots. Oh, boy, yeah. Because, see, that's the, the, uh, the UI is just white. And yes, you can change parts, but they just pop up black. Ah, uh, yeah. And it looks, yeah. I need I'm, some work. Well, see, like this is exactly when I, uh, you know, I paid to have a, you know, to make a theme that would make everything dark, and then it fucking didn't. Everything was still white, and it just looked stupid. Oh, it sucked, man. I mean, it was an actual money that I had. It was actually like you know from doing surveys, so it was free money. But still, it was like two dollars. Would you like to take a survey? No. But uh, now also, come on, copy. Okay, the um, this title was so clickbaity. I clicked on it and actually kind of. Chrome will soon support this underused Windows feature. Now, this was the picture from it. What do you think it is? Hold on. Yeah, zoom in on my phone. Zoom enhance. Zoom. Uh, Fucking media keys. Oh, uh, yeah. And I was like, what? If you remember, I bought my keyboard because it had media keys and nothing fucking supports it, really. Google has slowly been adding support for native Windows 10 features, making the browser feel more at home in the platform. We have recently seen support for native Windows 10's notifications, and the support for Windows 10 dark theme is coming. The latest feature to add Chrome to 73 is support for the Mia Session API in Windows and Chrome OS. So basically, if you're watching YouTube, you can pause it and turn the volume and shit up with the media keys. So that's nice to actually yeah. use the thing you bought. That is nice. I... Uh, I was going to say, with my headphones, I noticed, like, on my phone, uh, since they have, like, controls on them, they're Bluetooth, uh, you know how, like, if you go into, like, Chrome or whatever, Chrome. like, your browser, and you go to YouTube, you tell it to do desktop site, and then you can play the YouTube videos with your screen off or in the background or whatever, right? What? You know, you, you could, you know, you could do that where, uh, you know, how YouTube doesn't let you play with the screen off mm -hmm. in their YouTube app. But if you go into, if you go to youtube.com on the, in the browser and you click on request desktop site, it'll, uh, you know, you, it'll think you're on like a desktop computer or whatever. Mm -hmm. Then you can, it'll play I thought with they the screen did off. With that, uh, little hack. No, it still works. And like I said, you even have a, on my phone, you even, uh, well, what you got to do is w what'll happen is like when you turn the screen off and then you turn the screen back on, the like the music uh, is stopped, but then a little uh, in your lock screen, it'll give you like a little like play button or whatever for that vi content or like flash video or whatever. And you can play, but I had noticed like if you're in a playlist, I noticed like my headphones, if I click next or like previous track or mm -hmm. next track, it'll actually go to the next uh, video in the playlist on YouTube. You don't say. So like, I bet you that would even work because you said your skull candies or whatever had like controls on it, right? Yeah. Well, my thing was to just pause the damn video because if I'm listening, I can listen to a YouTube video in a browser but pausing it doesn't work if I press the pause button. I have to open up the video and hit pause. And I really uh, would like to be able to just, you know, press the button on my fucking headphones and not have to, you know, pull my phone out to find it. Well, I, I guess it depends on the, the headphones then and what, you know, like what commands it tells it to do to the operating system, I guess, you know. Yeah. 
Hulu drops to just five ninety nine per month after Netflix price hike. Mm. But light TV still costs more. Yeah, too bad they got fucking commercials. Otherwise, they'd be killing it. I mean, I understand there's a premium for like live TV and current content, but gotta be gotta compete somewhere, dog. Right? Right. Android Q will allow your uh, evil carrier to lock down your phone in new and exciting ways. Oh, shit. Now that Android Pie is in the rearview mirror, it's time to start obsessing over Android Q. Luckily, a leak last week revealed some positive changes like a system-wide dark mode and refined permissions. It's not all rainbows and unicorns, though. Additions to the Android source code suggest that Google will also give carriers new tools to sim lock phones. <sighs> Fuckery, fuckery, fuckery. But let me get out of the sad stuff and go into gaming stuff. Debbie Downerson. Right. Next Xbox to feature ray tracing, one terabyte NVMe SSD storage dev kit to release after uh, GDC 2019. Rumor. (laughs) I did see that. That looks interesting. I mean, I understand the whole, like, the one where they said. Uh Uh-oh. He dugged again. Hello? Hello? Oh, shit, dude. Fucking freezing up again. Are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Good thing I'm almost done. Yeah, no, you were set. You got off on the Xbox thing. <laughs> yeah, I was saying if it's going to have an AMD APU, how the fuck is it going to ray trace? But whatever. Yeah. By the way, speaking but of ray tracing, go ahead. I wonder if uh, I wonder if that'll uh, ray trace your uh, vaping. The vapors. Right. Quake 2 is the best argument for NVIDIA's ray tracing. So somebody modded Quake 2 to where it you can play it with ray tracing. It's not technically ray tracing. I did tracing. see that. It's, I, I watched a video from uh, UDF Tech about it. It's um not actually um, ray tracing. It's path tracing, which is instead of ray tracing the entire scene, it traces where the camera is going to be pointed. But that's all you fucking need to worry about. Not the shit that's off camera. So Doom, or not Doom, Quake, um, they actually made it where it's all, you know, it's in, what, beta right now or not even. Um, but it looks really good. Uh, the videos I saw, I was like, man, I want to play that. So you're not going to get to see that underside of the Jeep like in Battlefield? Oh, no. The guy, like, the guy that was playing, he's like, I love that the player, the the character model is just an arm with a gun. Like when you go to water and there's a reflection, you look at it. All you see is the arm and the gun. (laughs) Cause they didn't make a fucking face. It's just an arm and a gun. Um, and, uh, I think it was doom. It was just an arm, a gun and a boot. Cause you would kick stuff. (laughs) What about Duke Nukem? I, I don't know. Wasn't that even, wasn't that, like even older than the original I, Doom. I don't know. <clears throat> um, so th- this lady, oh, god damn ad! I can't even read the article. Where the hell's my mouse? Pointer. Okay, Alexandria uh, Ocasio Cortez. Is that how you pronounce her name? I have to say that three times fast. That that that. Um, drops in <laughs> on Twitch stream. Says Nintendo sixty four is the best console. Aaron Sorkin told Democrats uh, like AOC to stop acting like young people. That's her her name, by the way, Alexandra uh, AOC. So when so she went to a Donkey Kong live stream and talked about Pokemon Snap and why the N sixty four is the best console. Uh, she got in a PlayStation. Yeah, I mean. 
Next. I mean, you get the you get the young folks talking about the uh, yeah. What was what was your favorite Nintendo sixty four game, Frank? Actually, I didn't have a sixty four. So I've only oh. I only played oh. it later. So what about you, Goldeneye? <laughs> Uh, probably the Zelda, I guess. Oh, that's the one with the gold cartridge, right? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I still need to play that. Uh, the Breath of the Wild, but I'll probably yeah. have to get some kind of, you know, like ROM or something because I, I ain't ban- buying a Switch just for that game. <laughs> you know. Right. And I, from what I've heard, it's basically like. Just as good as with you know, like the the Wii U version or whatever. Oh. Yeah, I guess you can run it like at HD settings and stuff. Yeah, because that was like the bit that was like the last, the very last game that they did for Wii U. So it was on Wii U and the Switch. Mm. Well, that was my last article, sir. Sweet. Did uh, you have anything else you want to talk about? Mm. No, I don't. Ba- I don't think so. Basically, no. Basically, okay. I just. That was if Zoe has anything to talk about. Oh, she's sleeping. Oh. Yeah. She had a big day. She is. Playing out in the snow and stuff, running around. Mm-hmm. It was a little bit warmer during the day, so it wasn't as bad. <laughs> right. I'm thinking I'm going to try to get my RAM back up to speed and then probably just go to bed myself. Yeah, I hope you get that RAM it was, sorted uh, out. It was working fine, and then when I put a hardware monitor on, it said it wasn't. That's fucking weird. Uh, Maybe it that's... just for. Maybe it just forgot the overclock. Oh. Shouldn't have gotten a Foxconn. I have a Foxconn socket in there. I said shouldn't have. Oh, well, you know. <laughs> what are you going to do, right? Right. Now, I'm, I'm sure there's something you could do, you know. Yeah. Okay, well, thanks for coming on, sir. Thanks for coming on. We better... Uh, quit where I were ahead with before we get cut off here from that shit. Right. Excuse me. Boobs. Uh, <laughs> boobs. Nah, 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 nah. Oh, that's Ben's old team. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> nah, do, 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 do. Check out my Tumblr. Check out my Tumblr. I have a Tumblr, but I never use it. It just kind of forwards some of my other posts to it. Uh. Okay. Well, anyway. Do some guitar, Frank. Okay. Well, everybody, thanks for joining us. If you stuck through this, um, we didn't get to what uh, our email suggestion, but that's okay. We'll talk about it later. Right. It's too fucking late now. Hey, you got you got to give that your baby some medical attention. You gotta you gotta know when to hold them and know when to fall. All right. Have a good night, everybody. Peace out. Peace out.